And greetings, everybody. I am Resplendent Seraph, and today we are going to be playing some more Fallout. Uh, Fallout 4 specifically. And last time... Wow, it's been a week since I've played this. Uh, what were we doing last time? We maxed out Kate's affinity uh, when we went to Vault 95. So she's been cured of all of her addictions. We uh, advanced the plot a little bit. We explored the inner depths of Kellogg's mind, which usually takes a little while. And uh, so we, we took our time with that and really got a good sense of his backstory. Greetings, Imperial Crosshair. Welcome to the stream. We just got started here. How was your weekend, my good fellow? Um, let's see. Um, and yeah, we're about to go into another vault. And we're going to get another companion. Excellent. It's always nice to when your when your weekend's off to a good start. I personally slept in, which is uh, not something I get to do very often. Usually my cat gets me up pretty early, but uh, today she actually let me sleep in. So that was pretty nice. So anyway, event, let's, let's get this party started here. As we fire up the game. It's going to take a second because it always takes a little bit of a second, but not the end of the world here. Oh. Come on, OBS. There we go. That's better. Perfect. All right. Yep, Vault 81. So what I've, I've actually thought about this, I might just dismiss... Kate entirely now just because for what we're about to do she's more of a liability than um than an asset unfortunately hey, need something sure well, sorry Be Kate let's make sure you don't have I, anything I valuable on you before we you. <laughs> uh yeah she doesn't have anything especially well, she's got 44 ammunition but well, she's also picked she picked up a magnum autoloader at some point so I think we're okay Hey, Let's... what is it? If something's on your mind, I'd love to hear about it. It's about time for you to go, Kate. Sure. I'll head home and wait for you. Don't stay away too long, or I might start getting lonely. Just made an edit of Wrecker and Crosshair from Bad Batch. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I need to get b better with my editing, for sure. Sanctuary? Yeah, we'll send her to Sanctuary. I usually just send all my companions to Sanctuary. Just because that settlement is already a little bugged already, it like, doesn't really hurt sending my companions there. Plus, I already built a crap ton of beds. Everything's well set up there. Remember, no funny business. If you remember, she gives us the uh, cold shoulder. Hey there. Seriously? I don't want to talk. Yeah, unfortunately, a wastelander kind of played with her heart a little bit and then uh, left. So she's understandably a little jilted and is suspicious of outsiders. Better be. Uh, yes, it is indeed mine. But we're still going to go with best boy dog meat here. And right about when we exit the vault, we're about to get a quest. And it's going to happen pretty quick. It should. Yeah. It's over. All right, fine. I guess I heard we have. To... Got bit by a mole rat. They're not sure if he's gonna make it. There it is. Let's head over to. There we are. If you want to do something, stop James. I'm running sometime. the test as fast as I can, Priscilla. I can't treat Austin until I know what he's infected with. Doctor Forsythe. Not now, Bobby. And you, stranger, will have to wait your turn. We have an emergency here. Austin got bitten by a mole rat. Isn't that enough, Jacob? There can't be that many mole rat diseases or toxins. Rachel is examining the mole rat. Hopefully she'll find something. But these aren't ordinary mole rats. Who knows what kind of diseases they are carrying. Because he's just a child, it's affecting him more severely. Dr. Forsythe, please. I think I found something that might help Austin. Bobby! Hold on, Priscilla. What is it, Bobby? Well, you know that door Austin found? He found it because of me. I keep my private things in there. 
He saw me get them. You mean your chems? Get to the point, Bobby. What did you find in that place? It's like a whole extra vault in there, but half ruined and caved in. There was this terminal there. So I started poking around in it. There were some notes and stuff about using mole rats to grow viruses. But they also said that they used them to make vaccines and treatments. A secret vault. Good lord, I've never heard of such a thing. Bobby, you're a genius. A junky genius. There might be a cure for whatever Austin got from that mole rat somewhere in that place. You there. How would you like to do Vault 81 a favor and possibly save my boy's life? I would be glad to help. I was hoping I could count on you. Bobby here will show you where he keeps his secret stash. There is a chance that somewhere in there is a cure for Austin. If you find it, bring it to Dr. Forsythe. And for Austin's sake, please hurry. Follow me. And thus begins one of the more annoying quests in this game. Come on, Bobby. Move it. Come on. Get your pathing sorted out. Thank you. Unfortunately, it doesn't take companions and NPCs too much to get hung up on things. Come on. Let's go. I'm literally right behind you, Bobby. Thank you. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. And this is where we bumped into his sister. And oh my god, Bobby's getting caught on fucking everything today. Sometimes it's a little random. Sometimes the NPCs get caught on shit a lot more than others, and sometimes they just go where they're supposed to. What's taking so long is you are getting lost, dumb shit. There we go. But yeah, I'm not sure why some NPCs get caught on certain things and why they don't. There we go. Come on. There we go. And this is the one terminal, the old overseer's terminal. So, uh... Bobby. Yeah, at this point, he doesn't have anything else to say. But we can hack this terminal now, and some of this will make a little bit more sense. Worshippers. Well, theoretically, it could be this. Okay, that's a lot of it. Yes. There we go. Okay, so welcome to Vault 81. I'd like to thank you for accepting your new role as Overseer. Now, we could have also hacked this terminal before this whole thing even started and had a nice little hint of what was to come. But in, the, in, this, in this sense, we already have a bit of an idea. So anyway, your background in academic and applied medical research will make you a capable leader to lead uh, Vault 81 science stuff. And your administrative background gives you the unique ability to lead and manage the general population as well. Thank you for considering this officer, blah, blah, blah. Uh, mission of Vault 81, research infectious diseases uh, and antibodies with particular attention to paid to potential mutations in a climate of heavy radiation. So we've got some clinical trials. Scientific staff will be restricted to the hermetically sealed research area to prevent cross-contamination, et cetera, et cetera. Mission protocol... Uh, work for the research station immediately. Okay, so that's mostly just scientists will go to the research area and no one will basically know about them. Not to be evacuated under any circumstances except to direct all clear command. That's pretty standard for most of these vaults. Nothing too crazy there. And uh, we could go to the research comm records. Testing one, two, three. Yep, do you copy? Do, Kenneth. Everything good over there? Just another drill uh, day, right? It is. Thank God for that. Uh, where's everyone? Okay. Uh, what's going on? Okay, yeah, at this point, they're realizing the bomb's dropped. Phase one trial, but it's a little bit pretty limited down here. Saw the data last night. It's promising. Do you think it's ready? Trial's just started. Kiwi posted. Food extruder issue. They got some food issues. It's pretty standard stuff. Good news. We're tweaked our formula based on the phase one trial we're ready to go with phase two how's the mole rat population doing that the protocol's not technically tampered with something like that i'm just kind of per perusing this rather than reading the entire thing although again if you really want you could always pause this if you're watching on youtube trolls colony give me even go over the data again Delivery mechanism for over serious. Uh, I've noticed an issue with our delivery mechanisms. Do you know if everyone's tampered with the nozzles in the residential quarters on your side? Don't know. What are you doing with the delivery system anyway? The phase two trial just began. I know, overseer. I just thought it would be a good idea to run tests on the delivery system before we reached phase three. 
If we reach phase three, human trials are not to be undertaken lightly. What kind of tests were you hoping to run anyway? Just a placebo vapor to make sure the nozzles are dispensing mist properly. The residents wouldn't even know we'd done anything. I guess that's the idea, though. I'll look into the nozzle issue on my end, bro. In the meantime, please do not use the delivery system without my direct approval. So you're already getting an, sort of an answer here. Doctor, please get in touch. I know what you've done, honestly. I don't blame you. Performing the phase three trial on non-consenting humans is a breach of ethics, at least according to the world we used to live in. I can keep Burrow together for a while, but Flint's already suspicious. What are we supposed to do over here? I can only lie to them for so long without some actual responses from you. Damn it, Olivia. <laughs> you can't be such a hypocrite that you'd condemn us to die in, this, in the name of your personal sense of morality. I know your politics, but I never thought you'd actually leave, me, uh, leave men for dead. Please reconsider this. So we're getting an idea of here why uh, this vault was normal. It turns out the overseer decided not to condemn these these people to a horrid fate. Now we're going to go into the secret part of the vault. Find out what kind of bullshit happened here. It's a reload. And we're going to quick save. Because we are going to save scum like a motherfucker. Because if we get bitten by one of these mole rats, even once, it's over. Uh, we're going to have a permanent disease that we will never be able to cure. Unless we cheese it with the uh, duplication... Uh, there's a glitch where you can actually um, give the serum at the end of this. Well, we'll get there. One step at a time. And we'll take the coffee cup. I will definitely take the 10 millimeter rounds. Intruder. So, fun fact. You can also get the mole rat disease from the Pachectron, which is super awesome. And by super awesome, I mean that's fucking total bullshit. I'm um, looking for... Perks. Status, I think. Okay. When, if you're infected with the mole rat disease, there'll be a status over here and it'll show up. So yeah, we are absolutely... We didn't get hit by those guys. Good. We need to make sure we don't get hit. Warning. Hostiles in area. Shit. We probably just contracted it. Let's look. No, it doesn't look like we did. Did we get lucky here? Did we get lucky? Because they can, you can also contract it if they hit your companion. So you can also contract it if they hit dog me. Which sucks, but I don't, I don't see it. So that's good. Unless I'm looking in the wrong place. So you have to check, um, you have to check your status. And then in here, there'll be an extra button if you're under any kind of afflictions. But it looks like we might have gotten out of that one okay. But yeah, it's, it's super annoying to have to go through this to try to not get, um, dealt with. Now, granted, you can also, the resolution probably wasn't intended to be that annoying, but... Having a permanent minus... So if you get a uh, hit with this disease, um, even with the cure, you'll have a minus 10 to your health permanently for the rest of the game that you cannot get rid of. Which isn't so bad, except for the fact that the status, you will permanently be under a status ailment, so you can never really... It's, it makes it really difficult to fucking tell if you're actually under another status ailment or not. That's the worst part of it. So I don't know who thought of that idea for this, but it was horrendous. So we are going to go through this without contracting this disease, if we can. Right? No, we're still good? Okay. I don't see anything. Perfect. I could just run through it and contract the disease really fast just to make sure, just to see. Uh, why don't I... Why don't I do a new save here also? Yeah, let's do a new save. Don't think we can get it from the turrets, but I know I can get it from the Protectron. And once we get a little further in, I'll tell Dogmeat to wait, and then we'll advance. That tends to be the easiest way to get through this. See what's in here. Now we got some 
Raxo cleaner. Yay. Oh, and pretty more money. That's pretty nice. I don't think there's anything here, but yeah, you can tell the research area wasn't exactly complete. And without the residents, this is what happens to a vault when it's not properly maintained. I want to take that oil. Please and thank you. I don't see anything crazy over here. I'll definitely take that office fan. And just give me the dirty ashtray. Ceramic is always nice. Okay, first, first order of business. Stay, Hold. buddy. You stay there, dog me. Here it comes. Fucker before it bites me. I got it. We're up here. Shit. Damn it. Well, I just contracted it. Let's go see. Yep, and there it is. And there it fucking is. Yeah. Goddamn mole rat disease that you can never get rid of. God, that pisses me off so much. <laughs> Hello there. Hey, Dark Star, how are you, my friend? All right, dog meat, you need to stay. Hold. Yeah, I fucked up. I fucked up. That's all right. I'll kill this mole rat. So yeah, my solution to that dilemma is get through this quest. Without, without taking damage at all, if I can. Come on, don't teleport, don't teleport. There you are. Okay, we got him. Okay, quick save. Right, and I also don't have this stupid mole rat disease, awesome. Okay, now we go back for dog meat. Because <laughs> again, if the mole rats bite dog meat, you'll get it too. It's the stupidest thing. Oh, well, we'll take bolt, bottle rockets. Just chilling before starting scenario two tonight. Nice. Psst. Let's go. Good boy. Dog meat's awesome. Although I probably should just. I did not know that fucker was still there. Okay, that could have been bad. I remember quick saving after every... Yep, yep. It's... <laughs> so I'm glad I'm not the only one who came up with that as a way to get through this shit without, uh... Without contracting that disease. Because it's really the... Ooh, military duct tape. Sweet. I'll tip. take the tablespoon. Yeah, I don't know who came up with that, but... I'm sure this whole thing is overblown and Austin will be running around tomorrow. Overblown or not, we have to do what we can for Austin. I just don't know what I can do. Neither do I, Priscilla. Why him? He's just a boy. He's going to be just fine. You'll see. And so uh, we can also go into the hydrogen observation terminal really fast, make sure there's nothing all that interesting. Crop rotation implemented. But yeah, basically the researchers just spy on the other part of the vault the whole time. It's a great quest, except for the mole rat disease complication. And again, it wouldn't be so bad if it just took away 10 hit points permanently uh it really wouldn't the bad part is the fact that it gives you that status ailment permanently okay dog meat i need hey. you to stay here stay there not wait where the fuck did you just go oh my god what the fuck god damn it oh what the fuck is this shit see that's where okay you just teleported down there you know what that's fine that's not the end of the world i was about to do fucking bullshit <laughs> 
What the hell is that? All right, but we got some mole rats that like to show up around here. Well, this is gonna be a joy for you. You get to nag me, and I can't go anywhere. Oh, real nice, Holt. Make this about you. Don't you think about anyone other than yourself? Your daughter could get sick like Austin, and you're whining about spending time with your family? I have things to do. We don't have to hide away in here. You're so busy, Halt. You have so much to do. Please, explain to Aaron why your needs are more important than her safety. Just never mind. <sighs> Idiot. So yeah, Holt is uh, father, of the, father and husband of the year here. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Fucking Holt. But yeah, also, as far as, like, quick saving just to prevent loss of progress, that is a big one. Let's make sure. Okay. Yeah, fortunately, most of the mods I've installed help to uh, add a lot of stability. We'll definitely take the Nuka Cherries. So that part's good. We got another you observation. You staff are to make sure every resident remains under stringent medical observation. Understood. But overseer. No buts. This is for the good of the vault. We can't risk this pathogen spreading, Dr. Forsyth. Yes, overseer. How is Austin doing? Not good. The infection has progressed quite rapidly. We need a way to stop it from spreading. Then let's hope that outsider pulls through and gets us a cure. Okay. This part gets a little interesting too. But yeah, I'm usually I usually don't like to save scum a whole lot. Try not to, anyway. Okay, nothing's up here. Let's get this one. I'm definitely spamming bats. So I'm not letting one of these fuckers bite me. Little bastards. Yeah, I knew I didn't have enough time for vats on that one. I just had to line it up and get the headshot. Okay. I think we can get dog meat now. Go get dog meat. Yeah, it's particularly egregious that if your companions get bit, you get the stupid ass uh Hey. Good boy. Come on. Um, you get the you can contract the disease also. It's like, come on, you know, my companion or the dog got hit, not me. Hey Freakbot, what's going on, buddy? Yeah, it's super annoying. Very, very super annoying. But thanks to and you guys I think have noticed. I, I try not to quick save and save scum all the time, but yeah, for this for this fucking quest. Shit, where is it? Oh shit. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? There it is. No dog meat. Don't get hit by it. All right, we okay? Let's see. Let's check. Good. We're we're okay. You know what? Auto save. Thank you. But we'll still quick save. <laughs> That's right. Modern problems require modern solutions. <laughs> oh, I fucking hate these things so much. Oh, we got cryer mines over here. So if I were interested, yeah, we'll take the shotgun shells. You know, I never noticed there were mines over here. That's pretty nice. <sighs> I mean, it does add tension. God damn, does it add tension. So there's usually a mole rat in there. Good, we're all good. Check. Okay, good. We're all. We're, nope, that's one over here. Where is it? Where is it? I can hear it. I can hear the little bastard. Right, shit, I should check first. Okay, good. I'm still okay. Sweat my brains out. Yeah, it's 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 hot out today, man. It's definitely warm. I was out on the patio for Cleo earlier. It's, you know, despite the heat, she's a cat. She loves it. Uh, and even I was like, man, this is actually pretty warm. Even for me. 
That's okay. Duct tape. So hopefully this heat wave cools itself off soon. That would be nice. Oh, it's raining down by you? Huh. Yeah, I bet if I opened my window, I could see the rain from your, uh, the rain that's hitting you. <laughs> okay, well, we got some ammo. We're actually doing much better on ammo. Okay, we'll save so I don't have to pick that lock again. Real quick look here. I think we're still okay. So here's the cool part about having all that hacking. We don't actually have to go down all this way. We could just get through this door here. We don't have to fight the legendary brood mother roll mole rat that's down there. So let's just hack this terminal and we won't even have to mess with it. Uh... Hey, why? There it is. Thank you. Um... Two, probably an E. So it's probably going to be using one of these. Probably that one. Oh my God! It's not that one. Shit. Now let's get rid of a dud. Uh, fuck. I mean, I have two attempts remaining, but I. Good, okay, I already got that. Got two duds removed. I already got that one, shit. Okay. Yeah, may as well fuck around with this while the ad plays. This is taking me a while. I don't want to screw around with that. Okay. So, man, it's got thrones. Did I not do citizens already? I felt like I did citizens. Damn it. Maybe Aquarius? But now I'm really... No, it's not that. I don't know. Let's we we gotta exit. Shit, that sucked. <laughs> okay, let's just do it this way. Again, it's one of the reasons why this is fucking faster. Nice. Thank you. I know it's not the right way to do it, but fuck it. Okay. Let's get the hell out of here. I'm sure, I'll take that stim pack. I mean, there's some nice stuff down at the other end, but um, I mean, we could try going down there just to see, but I don't think it's worth risking the mole rat disease for. So yeah, this part's pretty interesting. We get three lockers with flowers in front of them with uh, bones in them. So yeah, this is pretty obvious that it's a, uh, that's like a nice little funeral type of, or uh, burial deal. I mean, <laughs> when you're in a vault, that's the uh, best you can do. So I'm gonna leave these guys. We're not gonna harvest their, uh, we're not gonna harvest any of that shit. Let's let's get on with this. Oh, another stranger. Are you Void Tech Security? I've waited so very patiently for you to arrive. Who the heck are you? I am a Contagion's Vulnerability Robotic Infirmary Engineer, or CVR IT. The human scientists call me Curie. Or more properly, they called me this when they were alive. I repeat, are you Void Tech Security? These mole rats carry a disease. Do you know anything about it? My poor little darlings. They were used to grow all manner of new and interesting pathogens. Then Vault citizens would be exposed to these viruses in the hopes that they would develop new antibodies. But they never got a chance to execute their plan. Clyde got out of his cage. He was smarter than the others. My sweet Clyde. He let out the others and those poor scientists never stood a chance. Clyde's been dead for almost two centuries now, but his descendants have free run of the vault. I'm rambling. Where are my manners? Are you vault security? 
<laughs> yes. Yes, I am. Superb. I placed an emergency call so long ago. I was beginning to think something dreadful must have happened. I am pleased to report I completed my primary duties 83 years ago. Thousands of pathogens were grown in the mole rat hosts. Then a single broad spectrum cure was developed to treat them all. Very satisfying work for many decades. Now, please tell me you are authorized to release me from the lab. Why can't you just leave? I require verbal or written authorization. Actually, any vault -Tec employee, even you, could authorize me. You must be vault -Tec, or you couldn't possibly be here. <sighs> I am so authorized. You are released. Superb. I had almost given up all hope of leaving here. I'll open the door for you. Yeah, we could go through there and take another gander at that. Voltec representative, I entrust you with the broad spectrum cure I developed. If you have an equivalent to my digital Hippocratic oath, please use it quickly to prevent any undue suffering. However, be advised, there is only one dose left, and I can no longer make any more. Which to me is such bullshit. It, the only reason they did that is for this ultra contrived uh choice that you'll ultimately have to make to either give the cure to Austin or to use it on yourself. Um, it's, it's horseshit. It's total horseshit. There's no reason why a Ms. Nanny bot with the medical, you know, facilities and expertise of Curie would only go through all this trouble just to be able to cure one person. I, I call such bullshit with that. I am most eager to leave. Thanks for the cure. It is my hope that this cure finds its way to someone who needs it. Hopefully now I can properly further my scientific research. Since my job here is done, I think I will follow you out. That sounds like a good plan, Curie. But in the meantime, let's get the medicine bobblehead. That's also why I don't think there's anything all that worth even going down there. My suspicion... Oh, we're going to get a shit ton of blood packs here, I think. Um, I don't think there's anything all that valuable down there. So that's another reason why I'm like, you know what? I don't, I don't want to bother. But yeah, Darkstar, I've done the same thing. I've lobbed a fucking mini nuke down there <laughs> more times than I can count. The issue, if you're going to do that, is you have to make sure that mini nuke doesn't hit the ceiling and blow you up in the process. But yeah, thank you, Dr. Collins. So date of last purge, personal... So, initializing greetings, laboratory. I've been ordered by Dr. Collins to add an entry to this terminal. Dr. Collins was most insistent that this is my terminal. I explained several times that robots cannot own property as per Robco policy, but his orders were most clear and insistent. I will comply with Dr. Collins' wishes and maintain a log when ordered to. And then, of course, there's just a goofy thing there. Distress. And then eulogy. <laughs> Dr. Burrow is deceased. Postmortem indicates he expired from a severe cardiac arrest brought on by advanced age. He died at 5.01 a.m. shortly after waking. In accordance with the doctor's pre-existing orders, the body was cremated and placed in the specified urn alongside Drs. Collins and Flint. Dr. Burrow was of a great uh, assistance in continuing the lurk left by the others. My last order was to continue working on our projects alone so that our deaths will not be in vain. My processors are fully committed to furthering the study of pathogens and viruses for the betterment of mankind to honor this last request. Message ends. So yeah, this is Curie's terminal. So yeah, she's been spending a lot of time up here. Uh, so anyway, we could go through that. But you know what? Let's, for the sake of it, just for the sake of it, let's just see what's down here, right? We don't have a mole rat disease. We don't have a mole rat disease. Yeah, let's quick save. And what we'll do is we'll take out our trusty little sniper rifle. And we will blow her to fucking <laughs> kingdom come. Oh, Curie followed us. Okay. We can target her. That's not great. <laughs> but if we if we get if we contract the disease, I'm just gonna look and see if there's anything worth. Let's just use 
vats here. But yeah, firing a mini nuke definitely takes care of it. Holes. I think that's everything, though. I do think that's all of them. And at least by taking out the brood mother, there won't be any more of these assholes. Okay, so now we can take a look in here. Uh, we get the Vault 81 tech password. So if you weren't able to hack the other terminal, this would be how you would get through that terminal. Got some blood packs. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything that was... Oh, we got a stealth boy. All right, so that was worth it. That was actually worth it. Just for the stealth boy. And we got a couple of stim packs. All right, but yeah. Only because we actually took him out without uh, getting hurt was that worth it. Right, we still... Yeah, we're still good. Perfect. All right, cool. <laughs> YOLO! <laughs> <laughs> Good old mini nukes. Let's switch back to our primary weapon here. We don't need our Pip Boy flashlight. We can get the hell out of this vault. And we'll re emerge in a pretty familiar area now. I'm actually hoping it rains up by me. I'm sure it will. We got some crazy rain last night. Like around 2 in the morning. Oh my god. It was like thunderclaps every like 20 seconds. That was a really active storm. I don't know if you guys got that one. I imagine you probably did though. <clears throat> Calvin told me I want out so I can slack off. Maybe he's right. This work is just killing me. Sorry about the maintenance. It never ends these days. You get a barber here if you need it. I'm not saying you do. Uh, yeah, I definitely don't need a barber. I just got a haircut. <laughs> so yeah, Curie obviously is going to be our companion now. She is one of my favorites. I think she's got a really good story. You got guts wearing that pit boy in the Commonwealth. I can't believe someone hasn't tried to steal it yet. You know, for all the times that people mention something like that, I actually am kind of surprised that they didn't have a side quest or a random encounter where someone tries to steal your pit boy. Hello, Dr. Forsyth. The cure. You found it. <laughs> Let him die. I'm keeping it. Yeah, this is part of the, the that stupid choice that they kind of give you. And they give this weak sauce, give him half, I'll take the other half, but you still have minus 10 How is hit points doing? permanently or whatever. Do you think he'll survive the cure? He's been unconscious since shortly after you left. So anyway, what you can do is you could do this. Here, take the cure and use it on the... But while the dialogue is going, you can go into your inventory, drop the cure, and then he'll go over to Austin cure him and you still have a cure that you can then activate and use on yourself boy only one dose i hope this works if it doesn't there won't be anything to analyze to try again let's hope this yep works. so as long as you do it before you it takes away the cure uh as long as it's in your inventory once you do the uh dialogue choice you'll still be able to do that it's cheesy though but you can do that it shouldn't be long You're in the clinic. You were really sick, Austin. Our visitor from the Commonwealth saved your life. Really? Gee, thanks, man. I was worried to death about you, Austin. What got into your fool head? Going into a place like that. Nothing exciting ever happens here. I just wanted to see what was in there. Well, if it hadn't been for our friend here, you might have died. Thank you. I know you made sacrifices to help him. I know Dr. Pinsky will be grateful. For my part, I'd like to give you the syringe. I had it for years and never really had a use for it. She's not the only one. The whole vault is thankful. I'd like to give you a room here in the vault. A place you can call your own. It's in the main hall. On the left as you get off the elevator. Once again. 
Thank you. I, I hope you enjoy your accommodation. I wanted to say thank you again for what you did for Austin. <laughs> You've opened a lot of eyes around here, including my own. I had no idea of the dangers Vault Tech had hidden away so close to home. I can't believe so many died just behind our walls. <laughs> Don't everyone talk at once for fuck's sakes, right? Uh Whatever Vault Tech had planned, it failed and took their entire staff out with it. No arguments here. I hate to think of what they had planned for us. But on the good side, you made a real impression on our anti-commonwealth people. They're realizing outsiders really can be trusted and do more good than just providing resources. You'll always be welcome here. And I hope you make a habit of visiting. Having a trusted outsider would help serve as a reminder that the commonwealth isn't something to fear and avoid. We already grabbed that, but now we can actually grab stuff in here. It's no longer owned, which is awesome. Um, I will grab stim packs and a pencil. Okay, fine. Good to me now. Uh, vault Tech lab coat. You know what? We'll take that Vault Tech lab coat. For a purpose to be named later. And now we get Curie. A moment, please. But of I course. I have so many years. I believe it's customary to thank you for your role in saving me. My entire life has been in this vault. I have analyzed and learned everything there is to know here. So now I must see the rest of the Commonwealth. Consult with scientists. Unearth more data to challenge my hypothesis. After the bombs... The Commonwealth is a little lacking in the science department. But surely there is still men of learning out there. And if nothing else, there is data. Please, madame, can you take me with you? Come along, then. Excellent. We must embark at once. All right. So at this point, we got Curie. OK. Now. You're getting to be a regular around here. Now they like a, They like us now. Let's take a quick look. I am looking for the reactor, which actually I think is just upstairs. Yep, it is just upstairs. Should be next to the classroom. Yep, it is. I'm looking for you. Hey, I uh, I heard what you did for Austin. You saved that kid's life, so I, I was hoping you could help me out with Bobby. I need someone to get him off the jet. Ever since all that drama, he's gotten worse. He doesn't leave his room high all the time. Rachel said if he doesn't get help, he could die. <laughs> Let him die, one less junkie in the Commonwealth. <laughs> You're right. He needs help. You've got to convince him to go see Rachel. She's got some treatment drug that'll help him get clean. It's either get clean or get dead at this point, and that bastard better get his priorities straight. And so that quest is notoriously bugged in vanilla. Like a lot of times she won't Tina won't even give you the quest. Um all sorts of fucking issues with it. She already We already got the magazine from her, I think. Granted it's been a while. I think he's just over here somewhere. Okay, that's their house. I heard that kid who got bit is going to be all right. Yeah, it's a bathroom. Bobby, I don't think is all that far. I heard there's all sorts of scary monsters in the Commonwealth. And you're right. There you are. What are you doing here? Can't you see I'm busy? <laughs> uh. You need to get help, Bobby. Go see Rachel. She has medicine that will treat you. No way. It's never that easy. And now, I need this shit more than ever. It's the only way I'm going to get through this. I love how he just, like, chain inhales the jet. <laughs> Don't you want to quit? Well, yeah, I do, but I can't. This place, man, and what happened? Jet is all that makes it bearable. bearable what makes it so hard to deal with in the first place i can't do my job man old rusty does it all and the hours 
The overseer says I gotta be on call 24-7, and these generators are always on the fritz. Now add what happened with Austin. It's more than I can handle, man. Rachel has a chem called Adictol. It's supposed to help ease the symptoms. I don't know, man. That week I tried to get clean, you don't even want to know how bad it got. But I guess it's worth it, right? It's gotta be. All right, I'll do it. I'll go right now. All right, and then we talk to Tina. My friend's all better now. Being sick sucks. Yeah, I hear you, kid. This part's also a little bugged. Hi, Tina. Did you did you talk to Bobby? How'd it go? Good. He went to see Rachel. He's cleaning up. No shit! You actually did it? That's it. No more drugs, no more dealing. We're starting over. Maybe now I can get him to leave this can. If you really want out of here, you can come work for me. On a settlement, you know? As far as new beginnings go, that sounds pretty good. Count me in. Yes. Okay. Good. <laughs> a lot of times that won't even that won't even come up. It's really frustrating. Uh, all right. Yeah, we'll send you to Starlight Drive-In. Perfect. I just need to pack and have a long talk with Bobby. Then I'll be on my way. Sweet. All right. Cool. It's nice when that works. But we'll take the duct tape. We'll take duct tape. All right, we've got that taken care of. Let's head to the, yeah, let's head to the atrium. Our uh, our house is now in there. Back again. We'll be watching you. By the depot, and now this is our room, and we could put bobbleheads in here if we uh, wanted to. It's pretty nice. We got ourselves a nice little bed, clean stuff, pretty badass. And so if you're not the type to do a lot of settlement building, this ends up being a good player home that you could use for safety if you really don't want to build anything. Um, but at this point, I'm pretty good. Oh, and if you grab tools, tools, you could sell them to that dude all the way down there. You know what? Let me just make sure I didn't miss a magazine. I heard yeah. about what you did for our little Austin. Don't know many who could do the same. Which is really funny because you could pick up those tools and then sell them to him and he'll give you caps for them. <laughs> and then it's like, dude, they're like literally right there. I don't think there's a magazine in here, but let's look anyway. Oh, yep, there is. There we go. There so isn't in vanilla. That was a... Uh... Your presence here has really made a difference. Okay, yeah, you're just giving me the same the shit. In the common just make sure there isn't a vanilla magazine to be gra had in here. I don't think there is. Okay, perfect. Good, 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 good. Okay, cool. Hey, do you need something from me? Nope. We're good. I just need you to open the door. Thank you. All right, we are done here. We've got our next companion. We can now move on with life. Up we go. And now let's make our way over to the Finch Farm. We've got a quest to be done over there. And we also have the rest of the Cabot House quest line to do. Actually, we'll make our way to Cabot House first. If you're looking to do some trading, look for the depot. Alexis has just about anything you could need. Yeah? Actually, we'll do Cabot House first. That's just easier. Stay out of trouble. But here's the cool part. Excuse me. I heard about what you did for Austin, and yeah, thanks. So she, uh, dethawed. Changing minds. I can't believe I'm finally going to see the Commonwealth. Yep. I'll see you at Starlight at some point, Tina. So what I will do is I will grab local leader the next time we're going to. Only Mag was the grognak in the room you got. Gotcha.
Yeah, it, it had been a while since I'd been in Vault 81, so I couldn't remember um, if I'd picked up the correct uh, magazine or not. Again, couldn't hurt to just check. Oh, God, we got a fight going on over here, because of course we've got a fight going on over here. Whatever it is, they're armed with a laser pistol. Oh, we got Brotherhood people. Okay, so the Brotherhood's firing at these super units. Well, the super mutant killed himself. Oh. There we go, got that. Yeah, no shit, Gary. This place is definitely violent as fuck. Since Hangman's Alley is just over there. Oh, these guys ran across Cricket? Man, that was a dumb decision. That's fucking suicide going after the crazy weapons dealer. Fucking raiders. A hot plate. I think there's a... No, yeah, there's not. Sure, we'll take the corn. Why not? Take that. We'll take that because we don't need to be too selective. Yeah, come on. <laughs> take that skeleton. Wow, we got brotherhoods. Brotherhoods there. Spot. We can just loot what these guys take. Oh, these guys shooting at the Brotherhood? That's not going to go end well. That's not going to end well for any of you. <laughs> but still, we'll take... Uh... Alright, that worked out pretty well. Soup Mutant's dead. We got this raider. Come on, thank you. Man, a lot of bloodstains here. Cricket's fucking awesome. Actually, let's buy ammo. Hey, Cricket. Better buy my big guns now, because you bet your ass your enemies will. <laughs> As is tradition. Let's see what you've got. Guns, guns, and more guns. Just for you. Yeah. That's that's who those raiders fucking attacked. This crazy bitch. Cricket's fucking awesome. <laughs> she is so my favorite merchant in this game. Uh, yeah, we'll sell those. We'll sell these and we'll sell these perfect thank you i appreciate the ammo we'll go over to hangman's alley because hangman's alley is connected to everything right oh hangman's alley is not connected well, well we'll fix that we'll fix that in a hurry actually i could probably turn off the radio beacon at hangman's alley now because i don't need a bunch of uh Yep, yeah, perfect. Good, good, good. You guys probably have nothing. Yep. Your happiness is going to be very skewed until we sort that out. Perfect. Supply line. You need to go to Oberlin Station. Perfect. All right. Now we can sort out the food situation. Let's do that. Food. Corn. Mute fruit. Wow, actually... We need more root fruit than anything else. Root fruit's good for this settlement because it's just so fucking small. Okay, let's assign somebody to that. There are five of you. I just need to track down where you are. There you are. Hey, you. Come here. Assign you to that. Ugh, Kiri, get out of the way. Perfect. That will take care of that. Now, water. Ah, uh, yeah, that'll be plenty. There we go. Now we just need to do beds. Let's scrap that. Jesus, we still have all the bodies in here. Ugh, it's so annoying. Okay. 
backwards. There we go. Sleeping bag. Why? Because they're small. Alright, we got enough beds in here now. That'll do. Same with up here. We'll go with that. And that. There we go. Now, if I do end up with a few more people in here, it's not that big of a deal. Perfect. Now, the other issue... Come on. Move. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Do-do-do. Perfect. That was the one of the biggest reasons why I wanted to establish this here. Okay. Now Hangman's Alley can bombard anything else. And now the happiness will go up. And again, if your happiness is too low, this you'll lose control of the settlement. So that part kind of sucks. Okay, fine. You assholes. And if it's a Minutemen set up, was it Kefka? Uh, somebody's poisoned the water hole. <laughs> somebody's poisoned the water hole. I'm, I'm, I, I guess I, I mean, obviously I get the Kefka joke, but I'm, I'm get, I'm missing out on uh, that. Or are you just joking, uh, ghosty about how uh, I wouldn't doubt it, right? Uh, or are you just joking about how uh, there are so many, like, unhappy people in there? So, yeah, obviously these raider corpses aren't going to despawn. They would have despawned already. So we're going to just get rid of them the best way we know how. By carrying them literally out of the fucking place. And this works for the uh, castle, too. If you end up with a couple of dead Minutemen and you can't ever get rid of them, just do that. Literally just carry the bodies out and dump them. I really don't have to do this, but these things are annoying me a lot. Oh, and while I'm at it, let's dump off all that shit I just picked up. There we go. Let's see. Now we'll keep all that. We can put the military fatigues in there. We will build off that. Good deal. Definitely keeping that mysterious serum. Put the Brahmin meat. Good. All that can now go in here. Same with the Nuka Cherry. I will have a purpose for that much later. Excellent. Okay. We're doing good here. Really? I can't pick up this raider? Oh, they probably thought I was trying to pick up the uh, other thing. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, you were picking different water sources is when I buy it. You were picking different water sources is when I... Oh, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah, that was my problem. I saw the, I saw the comment too late. <laughs> Right, and you already got a military harness, so that works. Although if I craft a Minutemen outfit, that would be better to put on the artillery piece. That's a game that needs a remake. Final Fantasy VI. Although it doesn't need to be three different games. <laughs> it could just be one. But man, I would love if Final Fantasy VI got the Final Fantasy VII remake treatment. That would be amazing. Okay. Thank you. I know. It's like, this is the OCD in Seraph's head. But... I'm done looking at these fucking raiders. And I'm not going to do what I did last time, where I kind of built a ceiling over that whole area and built up on it. I'm like, we're just gonna keep this settlement nice and small. I might even turn off the, the radio beacon, honestly. But it is also convenient if we're running since through here to actually have it as a good Minutemen outpost. Acts as a good cover to explain why people are kind of running through here. Okay, good. That's enough out of that. 
Perfect. I don't think there's a chemistry station in here. That's a so that's a problem. I can't craft a Minutemen outfit yet. This is okay. Put that pipe pistol in there. Fuck that shit. I don't think there's anything else I need to do in here now. I think we are good. Okay. Yeah, we're we're good here now. People have jobs. We can turn off the radio beacon. Now people won't continue to show up here. And we're good. Okay, do I want to go to Diamond City? Or... Now let's go to Cabot House. Let's cruise to Cabot House. And let's do that quest. Oh, Trish is still here. Good, we don't have all of... Those haven't been repaired yet. Make our way through downtown here. Okay, good. That's already been disarmed. I must have disarmed that at some point. At this point, we'll go up this way. The number of times I've shot at that statue, and obviously other people have too, <laughs> thinking it was somebody... There to ambush me. Oh my goodness. Uh, now nah, we don't need the nuke cause. I will grab glass though. Dog me. You're awesome. Make our way through here. I've already scavenged those meat bags. Okay. While we're at it, let's do some right away. Let's drink some purified water. Get most of our health back, actually. Let's get all of our health back. Let's eat something. We'll drink something. Take some take some medicine. And away we go. Man, the Boston ruins really do. <laughs> The Boston Ruins really do look amazing. Oh, I hear some of them talking. That's what's going on there. Uh, where is... Okay. Brotherhood? Yeah, Brotherhood. Vertebird. They're not always Brotherhood Vertebirds. <laughs> Just a casual headshot. There. Good. That's gonna. That guy's gonna take out that fucker. Man, he took more shots than I thought he would take. What is up with that one raider up there? Right. Oh. You know. I don't know if I've ever gone in here, actually. Let's go up there. I must have gone in here at some point. But now I want to make sure. I don't explicitly remember. I was like, is that a statue? Nope, it's just a raider kind of on watch. Not at a good watch, but on a watch. Okay. Now, Kiri doesn't like us picking locks. She doesn't dislike it either, but getting her affinity up can be a challenge. Oh, shit. These guys drank. These guys drank like fish. After that light source, I was really worried there was going to be a raider there. No trap. No trap. Good. Yeah, if I had been a little careless, this thing would have gone off. So the question is who is that going to alert? Ah, you.
<laughs> Man, that never gets old. <laughs> Definitely take the bottle cap mine. Thank you very much. Ooh. Oh my god, I've got enough frag mines. Freaking holy Christ. They are cooking a writer. No. Oh, I okay, I blew part of his head off into there. I was like, are they are they cooking a raider? Like, no, that was that was inadvertently me cooking a raider. Okay, so there's a raider up here. We know that. Because we saw something hostile up here. Nope, 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 don't. Let's go check it out. Let's go up here. Let's go to the top of this building. See what's up. I'm not familiar with the area, so... Ah, there we go. I think there's only this one dude. Yeah, probably only the one dude. Otherwise, somebody would have been like, Hey! Yeah, pretty neat. Oh, and now... Ah, oh, they got the bridge over here. Whoops. Nope, there is somebody. Down there. One of the raiders must have come back. They're not in view. I'm not going to worry about it yet. We'll take the steamer trunk of shit, though. You know, ooh, we got a safe up here. Nice. Let's see what they've got, shall we? Oh, right, this is the direction we want to go. Perfect. That's it. Now, yeah. Well, I'll take the sensor module. That's the only issue. It's now getting down. I'd rather not go down if I don't have to. Now I could just drop down here if I want to. I'm guessing. Yep. I have to drop down here. Perfect. That was cool. Might be a dog. I'm guessing super mutants. Oh, Jesus. Well, that sucks. Let's at least go. Oh, Jesus. That was a critical hit on its weak spot. And it still only did that. Wow. And that's all it gives us. Motherfucker. Okay. Well. <laughs> we barely survived that chat. Holy shit, isn't it? That was fucking crazy. Yeah, we'll take this rad scorpion steak. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Someone is nearby. Perhaps they are friendly. Fucking rad roaches. All right. <laughs> I love how there's a fucking sentry bot out there. So I could have kited the death claw to the sentry bot and the sentry bot would have lit up. So did you find out what happened to the courier? Some raiders set up camp near Parsons and ambushed him. I took care of them. Hmm. I don't like raiders operating so close to Parsons. I hope this isn't the start of something serious. What about the serum he was carrying? Did you get any of it back? So we could lie and tell him the serum's gone, but we're going to be honest so we can get a little bit of a bonus. There was only this one vial left. Oh, good. I was afraid we wouldn't get any of it back. Here's your pay for the job. I'm throwing in a little bonus for bringing back the serum. That was good work. Now, as far as what's next. Oh, hell. I guess it's time you met Wilhelmina. 
Jack's not gonna be happy about it. <laughs> Come on. This is fucking great. If your father was here, he'd send someone to find Emma Jean. We've been over this, mother. I can't bear to think what might be happening to Emma Jean right now. She's a grown woman. She's perfectly capable of looking. Jack, I'll take care of it. Mrs. Cabot, don't worry. I'll send someone to find Emma Jean. Thank you, Edward. I can always count on you. Why can't you be as devoted as dear Edward? <sighs> you shouldn't <laughs> indulge her, Edward. It just makes her more impossible to deal with next time. Just doing my job. Speaking of which, here's all we got back of the last delivery from Parsons. Raiders got the rest of it, I'm sorry to say. Ah, oh, good. Finally. This will help settle Mother down. Emma Jean is Jack's sister. You probably figured that out yourself. She's, uh, a little flighty. Impulsive. From time to time, she runs off. Usually with a new boyfriend. Then I send somebody to bring her home. No problem. I'll bring her back. The trouble usually isn't finding her. It's persuading her to come home. I don't know where she's gone, but I can give you a place to start. She's been spending a lot of time in Good Neighbor. That's a jazz club there, the third rail. Somebody there must know something. She's not known for keeping her mouth shut. I know the third rail. I'll ask around there. All right, so now we got to track down Jack's sister. And I love, uh, if you actually look at this, there is one ball too many. <laughs> Clearly whoever uh, designed that pool table for the game didn't know a lot about pool. Or they just lost track. What I may do is I may just get a water refill here. Yeah. Lovely rad storms. Welcome to the Commonwealth. I feel like the rad storms in uh, in the Commonwealth are more severe than in other games. But there might be a reason behind that. There we go here. Good. Still okay. Yeah, I'm going to get some water in a second. I'm definitely going to get some water in a second. Okay, good. I know where I'm at now. Good neighbors just over here. It's amazing how I still know exactly where I'm going, even when visibility is like next to nothing. Yeah, good neighbors right over here. And we'll check out the jazz club. The good news is I think once we go into good neighbor, we should have escaped the radiation. If not, we'll get to the third rail and that'll clear us of the radiation. Oh, nope. nope. <laughs> Kill or be killed. <laughs> guns, guns, guns. Perfect. It looks like the raid, the rad storm was dissipating as it is. I toss out the anyway. troublemakers. Keep that in mind. No problem, Ham. You guys are cool. Jazz is a. Uh, it's pretty sweet. All right, yeah. I'm gonna pause this real quick. Let me go grab some water. I will be right back, folks. Water, water, water. There needs some water.
Alright. That wasn't so bad. Ended up working out. Cleo was downstairs meowing for food when I got down there. That was good timing. Granted, she had food in her bowl already, but as anybody with a cat knows, oh, they could be a little picky with their food. <laughs> anyway, let's go ask around. We'll dig in and hold this position. Huh? My client appreciates the work you did with his rat problem. And if you're buying, let's hear what you want. Do you know Emma Jean Cabot? Name rings a bell. Kind of balmy. Haven't seen her in a while, though. Try Magnolia. She likes to make friends with people. She might know more about this missing bird. Magnolia! Gal, what's a word? And not that this is any kind of like crazy spoiler, but for anybody who is kind of curious, Magnolia is technically, well, no, not technically. Magnolia is actually a synth. You again. It's my lucky day. What do you need? Do you know Imogene Cabot? Imogene? Sure. I know her. I haven't seen her in a while, though. Are you a friend of hers? She's missing, and her family's worried about her. <laughs> I'm glad somebody's looking out for her. She seems like a body that could use looking after. Do you know where she's gone? There was this preacher fellow who used to come in here all the time. One of the slick ones, always going on about remaking your life and so on. Most of the customers wouldn't give him the time of day, but Emma Jean. She latched on to him for some reason. I don't suppose it hurt that he was easy on the eyes. Mmm, intense. Some women find that irresistible. Pam, would you come over here a minute? Is there a problem, Miss Magnolia? No, this lady here was just looking for Imogene. Do you happen to know where that uh, preacher fella came from? Mm. Brother Thomas? Yes, that's right. The one Imogene was always hanging on. Had to throw him out. Wouldn't stop bothering customers with that salvation racket. Kept going on and on about joining him at the back bay. Then he'd shove those stupid flyers in your face. Here, I kept one of them, just in case he didn't pay his bar tab. Mm. Well, thanks, honey. You were a big help. Anything for you, miss. I hope Imogene's all right. I didn't much like the idea of her going off with that preacher fellow. So let's go into our inventory now. Oh yeah, we also didn't read this intervention note. You can catch a lot of that food paste from uh, that we got from the Sulfolk School. It's affecting you. No, no, we did read this. Yeah, that was the group of um, scavengers that had food paste on them. I don't know if we read this. Okay, we did not read the gunners. I got the intel. The gang at Aldersea Day Spa looks tough, but the leader has the gun. A plasma, just like the contact said. The right squad of men could take it. Okay, so we don't have to worry about the Aldersea Day Spa for a while now, but that is interesting that we have something that would lead there. And we're picking up these like it's nobody's business. Pillars of the Community Flyer. This is what I was looking for. Do you feel your life isn't what you wanted? You're looking for a change? Yeah, we've... Remember that? Yep, Charles View Amphitheater. All right. So now, armed with that... Enjoy your stay. We can now go back. We know exactly where Imogene Cavett's gone. Ah, oh, damn. You know, I probably could steal that before Ham gets up the stairs, but... Fuck it. Unfortunately, Kiri doesn't like when you steal things. So even though Ham wouldn't see it, she would. I'd rather get her affinity up as quickly as possible. Again, she just doesn't have that many things that she really likes. But she does like certain dialogue options. 
And like any other companion, they do enjoy spending time with you and completing quests. So the more quests you do, the better. Man. And as usual, the ruins are just filled with raiders and scavengers and any kind of other uh, parasites. Constantly shooting one another. Yeah, I don't know. I'll stay clear of Haymarket Mall for now. Shit. Nice aim there, Curie. <laughs> oh, poor Curie. Oh, they got... Uh, I'll take the dirty army fatigues. That'll work. Onward. To the amphitheater. Which is over this way. And we'll cut through this bombed out alley. A fucking another one. You gotta be kidding me here. That'll do. That will do. Hey. Oh, no, you were just in the way. It's fine. Can't believe there was another glowing death claw. God damn. Okay. Um I am going this way, right? Yeah, I'm going this way. Oh, they even gave me a nav marker. I forgot to turn it off. Oh shit. I thought it was dog meat actually. Dog me. There you are, cat. Hello, cat. Oh, ow, don't bite me. Hello, cat. Come here. Come here, dog me. Hey. Come here, buddy. Come here, Cleo. Don't bite me, honey. <laughs> don't bite me. Jeez. How does that look on him? Yeah, that does look bad. We'll let him have some armor. Give me two seconds. Hi, honey. You didn't have enough food or... Come here. You need a pet? Hello. Oh, headbutt. I know, I know. We love you too. <laughs> Everyone, welcome Cleo, my illustrious co-host to the stream. Yes, I know. You're a good girl. I know. Just need a pet? Yeah, you want to hang out there and get a pet? Who's a good girl? Are you a good girl? Yeah, you're a good girl. You're a good girl. You know, if you come up, I don't bite my. Thank you. <laughs> I love you too, cat. Jeez. You know, if you hop up on the desk, I could give you more of a more of a pet. Nope, you're just gonna sit down on my foot. Okay, you're gonna keep my foot warm. Okay, good girl. Well, it's a good thing I got my water because now I can't move. I am super anchored into place. Excuse me. Welcome, neighbor. We're always glad to see a new face around here. Step right this way, and I'll be happy to tell you all about our movement and how you can be a part of it. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm looking for Emma Jean Cabot. Oh, I'm sorry, but Emma Jean is indisposed right now. She's not seeing visitors. Her family's worried about her. You can tell them that she's fine. Not that it's any of your business, but she and I are just having a little relationship trouble. You know how it is. <laughs> She's not seeing anybody until she cools off. I'm a friend of the family. Maybe I can talk some sense into her. Please, surely you will let us just talk? Look, truth is, we had a little, uh disagreement about her joining the movement she got kind of violent so i locked her in there until i could figure out what to do with her if you're willing to take her off my hands 
Let me unlock the door for you, and then she's all yours. <laughs> she's way stronger than she looks. It took all of us combined to even get her locked up in there. Oh, dog meat. Come on, buddy. Get out of the way. Dog meat, come here. Come here. Oh, okay, thankfully he managed to walk around dog meat. Oh. Guys, the pathing today has been terrible. Come on. Get a move on, Thomas. Thank you. Yeah, it's the only issue with dog meat kind of running ahead of you is he can get into uh he can get into people's way. I mean, he gets into your way too. Hell, I've got a cat that's kind of in my way at the moment. Although she's adorable and awesome. I'll take pre-war money. Okay, these I can't take. She's all yours. All right, so there is also a very common bug where when we open this door, Imogene is not there. Let us hope that she's there. It's very bright. Thank God. <sighs> you must be Imogene. Don't tell me. Jack sent you. <laughs> I was expecting a bit younger. That's right. I'm here to rescue you. What makes you think I need to be rescued? These cultists seem to be holding you prisoner. Well, Thomas certainly thinks so. But really, I was just waiting to see if he would come to his senses. He seemed so interesting at first. But since we came here, he turned out to be just another brute. He actually thought it could force me to join his absurd cult. It's not the same for us. Your boyfriend Thomas was a real charmer. I was done with him. And he shouldn't have locked me in here. Oh, I'm not going with you. You can tell Mother I'll be along home before too long. I just need a drink first. So if you mention anything about the um, fact that she certainly doesn't look like Jack's younger sister <laughs> uh, you can get a little extra bit of dialogue but for right now I am just gonna play this straight so now we go back to Cabot House we'll report back our findings now that she's been rescued kitty kitty who's my good kitty kitty I know I love you too Cleo You, young lady, are being a brat. Hi. I know. If you come up here, I can give you a pet. Need more pet, honey? Hi. What's the matter? Uh, need a pet. You a good kitty kitty. Mm, yeah, you a good kitty kitty. Yeah, I know, Cleo. I love you, too. Just need a quick pet. I know. It's like she knows I'm streaming and just decides, hey, I'm going to be super annoying. <laughs> and of course, she's adorable, so you can't get, like, too, uh, man, it's amazing how much nicer this building Look looks the to the other. So lovely. Yeah, and even Kiri mentions it. <laughs> that was perfect timing. Switch to single sideband modulating. Can you hear me? Edward, switch over to the Hartley modulator. Do you copy? Gene, now. How's this? Oh, <laughs> that's stunning. Edward, what's going on there? We're under attack. They're inside the building. Inside? Can you keep them out of the basement? I'm trying, Jack. I I've never seen raiders this. Listen, if they're inside the building, you have to go to the office and shut down the elevator. 
You can't risk them getting to Lorenzo. Got it. Office. Elevator. You better round up whoever you can and get them. Hello? Edward? Come in. Edward! Ah. There's no signal at all. I've lost him. What's happening, Jack? If these people are inside Parsons, if they free him... Don't worry, I'll handle it. I always knew it would end this way. I never should have allowed you to lock up Lorenzo in that place. That isn't helping, Mother. And as I recall, using the serum was your idea, not mine. So what are you going to do? I said I'll handle it. I'm thinking. What's going on? That was Edward. He's at Parsons, the old asylum. They're under attack by raiders. It's strange. The guards have held off raiders before without any trouble. I don't know what's gone wrong this time. What happened? The guards at Parsons called in that they were under attack. Edward went to help. I've only just been able to raise him, briefly. I didn't get much, but it sounds like the situation there is nearly out of control. I wonder if these could be the same raiders that stole that last shipment. If some of them had used the undiluted serum, it could explain their unusual success against Edward's men. I'm getting used to not knowing what's going on. <laughs> What exactly does this serum do? <laughs> I suppose it's time you knew. The main benefit of the serum is to halt aging. My family and I are all over 400 years old. But it also confers other side effects, especially in the undiluted form that the raiders stole. It increases strength and resistance to all kinds of physical damage. So at least some of these raiders may be much more dangerous than the ones you're used to dealing with. If you're 400 years old, then you were born before the Great War. Yes, I think you were too. I'd say mid-21st century. What makes you think that? Um, patterns of speech, general demeanor, physical health. You reminded me of the old days the moment I laid eyes on you. I just didn't put my finger on it until now. Is there anything else before we get going? I think it's time you told me what's really going on at Parsons. You're right. It's past time you knew. Jack, are you sure it's wise telling her all this? My father, Lorenzo Cabot, is confined in Parsons. He became dangerously unstable after handling an artifact he found on an archaeological dig in Arabia. He gained various seemingly paranormal powers, as well as becoming increasingly irrational and violent. In the end, I had no choice but to confine him, for his own safety, as well as ours. In the course of my attempt to cure him, I discovered that the artifact had introduced uh, anomalies into his blood. So the source of his insanity is also the basis of the treatments that have prolonged all our lives. The irony isn't lost on me, but if he were to escape from Parsons, I would lose my father forever. I will not allow that to happen. Not to mention that the artifact has made him paranoid, homicidally violent, and endowed with extraordinary abilities. Yeah, that's the only issue with um, the hair mods. Any, and it's also why Bethesda only made characters with short hair. Um, because once you get into longer hair, there's n really no way to avoid clipping with clothing. Um, so Bethesda's uh, solution was just don't have characters with long hair. I, I, to me, it doesn't really necessarily bother. I'd rather have the character with long hair sometimes. But yeah, it's one of the reasons why I also do tend to, sh to favor haircuts that are a little on the shorter side. <laughs> then I guess we better make sure he doesn't get loose. Exactly right. Hold on. Weren't you off looking for Imogene? Did you find her? I found her, as requested. Now, what about my pay? Oh, yes. Uh, Edward usually handles these things. You want caps, I suppose? Hmm. Let me see what I have. Here. I hope this is close to your usual fees. At least there's one small comfort on this terrible day. Before we go, I need you to understand something. When we get to Parsons, you need to do exactly what I tell you. Nothing more, nothing less. Is that clear? 
got it. Good. Make sure you have whatever you'll need for a serious battle. I'll wait for you outside. Jack, be careful. And try not to hurt him. I love Father at least as much as you do. But you know as well as I do that if he gets free, there will only be one option. Don't let it come to that, please. I'll do my best, Mother. And if Imogene finally comes home, for God's sake, don't let her leave again until I get back. Now I really do have to go. <laughs> At this point, we'll go Hell yeah. grab the Zeta gun. Now we loot. Grab some good stuff. So there is some really good shit here. Uh, shot glass. And the cool part is we could always come back here because a lot of this stuff respawns. Oh, Kiri, if only you knew. Let's get the ammo. Grab this. I don't think there's anything else in there. Oh. Can I use what do you want? Okay. Sure, let's hack this master terminal. Creation engine just can't create long hairstyles. That's right. <laughs> uh, damn it. Fuck. All right. What have I done? Okay, we got dud removed. Tries reset. Thank you. Okay. So. Zero in common with disciplines and two in common with populations. Maybe accessories? No. Over. Could be overloading. Damn it. Wait, how is foreign common? Oh, surrounding. There it is. Oh my god, it's... How is it, how is it not overloading and surrounding? Am I missing... Oh, did I not do shoplifting? I didn't do shoplifting. Sweet. There it is. Okay. Once there were four in common, I had I knew it had to be an ING word. So yeah, uh, <laughs> Imogene is the computer scientist of the family. She started doing entries in 1968. They're pretty interesting. Another un wanted gift from my loving brother. Still, it might be interesting to play around with. And yeah, you can pretty much follow a lot of things through the years. When I long Jack figured out, went to see Father again. Just showed up at Parsons and threatened to make a scene until Jack finally agreed to let me go down. Uh, da, 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 da. maybe Jack will eventually succeed, as annoying as it can be. I can't deny that he's very smart. And so, yep. And then we can go to the day the bombs dropped. It's happening. I think a bomb must have hit somewhere near. Power's out all over, as far as we can see from here. The emergency power is still on in the house. But not for long. Edward and Jack went to go to Parsons' priorities, you see. Jack left Anders in charge here. He seems cotton enough. But there's something about the way he's been looking since it happened that I don't like. About a month later, got the power back on again. Things are very bad. Never admit this to anyone, but I think this is the most fun I've had since I remember. I'm not bored anymore, geez. Way to go, Imogene. Um, but yeah, then they go over like Anders is dead. Killed him. No one can believe it. Two days after Jack left, he decided the Cavett house belonged to him. Mother and I would have to leave. Can't really blame him. You deal with all this stuff and, you know, once the collapse of civilization and all that. Uh, but yeah, made a mistake of underestimating me. Didn't know how fast I was, or how strong. Would have just made him leave, but he decided to fight. Well, that was, that was the end of Anders. And then, of course, you get other entries where they discover that Edward is a ghoul and whatnot. So, yeah, fun times. All right, so let's see. There's nothing else in here that's particularly useful. Let's just kind of go through. This is Jack's room. Aha! Yes. Massachusetts Surgical Journal. Wait. Oh, we got... Undamaged cigarettes, and there's cool stuff. All right, let's do this level up here. 
could do the last armor, but you know what? Let's do a local leader. I've been delaying that. Now we can build... Um, now we can build shops and workbenches. So we could really get to work on our settlement building now. We're getting to the point where it's time to do that. Okay, there's nothing there. Let's go down to the basement. The basement's where the really good shit is. There's the kitchen. Let's go take a look at the kitchen really fast. Okay, I will take the preserved Salisbury steak. Because unlike normal uh, snack cakes and all that, these are not radioactive. So these are actually um, good to eat. I mean, the others are nutritious and good to eat quote-unquote, but definitely take the armor fatigues. Hell yeah, let's get into this safe. Damn it. Nice job, Seraph. There it is. Got it. Nice. I'll definitely take that. I will take that mini nuke. Thank you very much. Now, remind me again. Just want to see. Mini nuke 23. Yeah, mini nuke 23. Okay, yeah. So the, uh, I must have a mod that fixes that glitch. So I don't have to worry about picking up weapons. Let's see. Take those. What else is really good in here? There we go. Uh, sure, we'll take the preserved and the Nuka Cherry. Okay, that's, these are light. Okay, we got everything of value. Let's get the hell out of here. For now. We can always come back and pick up what we didn't grab. Let's right away. Let's also save all that so we don't have that annoying ass thing. Womp womp. <laughs> But I just wanted to see, because now I don't have to be picking up weapons just to get the ammo. Suits Seraph just fine. Ready? Let's go. Just to be clear, under no circumstances can we allow Lorenzo to be freed from Parsons. I would have lost my father forever. I refuse to let that happen after spending so long trying to cure him. Mm, looks like we got a fight on our hands. Most likely. Come on, Jack. Let's just do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Talk to him. <sighs> yeah, because Jack's with me. All my attempts have failed. It's fused too tightly for his nervous system. See, I was mentioning he's trying to get the artifact removed from him, but it's fused with his system, in case you didn't hear that. You probably did, but just in case, because that's an important detail. Stupid ass gunners. Normally they're supposed I'm well to aware of the apparent conflict of interest in my father being the source of the treatment that is prolonging my own life. But I assure you that if I had the chance, I would gladly give it all up to have my father back, even for a short time. And that's an important detail. I actually believe Jack there. Yeah. 
Damn, am I just too far away from her? Mailed it. Did get her. That worked. Nice job, Jack. devils man we're getting some bad luck as far as uh, the Commonwealth here that looks like it might be an assaultron fuck of course it's gonna be an assaultron where is that motherfucker fine Holy shit. Yeah, this the scrap bot. The servo mech scrap bot was what was fucking us up. <laughs> Damn right, Kiri. Yippee ki yay ka uh. Oh, these guys were fighting mercenaries. Interesting. Oh, they took out Pack Brahmin. There's probably a merchant around here somewhere. Stupid robots. Alright, Jack, where are you? Sorry, had to take care of all that. Time to loot! Uh, Jack? Hey, Jack, where are you? Oh, for fuck's sake, Jack, where'd you go? You're gonna make me turn that on, are you? Alright, fine. Jesus, Jack, you're totally... Running ahead of me. Dude gives has no chill. Reload. Thank you. Alright. Caught up to them. <laughs> now I can turn that off, I think. Now, I could also fast travel to where we're going, and Jack will just spawn in. It would be okay. But I do kind of want to run up here with him. Of course, we have to avoid that shit like the plague. That satellite array is swarming with super mutants. Oh. I can move my leg again. Where did Cat go? Oh, there's a fucking miler. Headshot! Oh, fuck. That's a Mr. Gutsy. That's a problem. Nope, I thought it was actually... I thought Jack was going to get him to go a little over there. That was actually stupid on my part to get exposed. But it worked out. If I wanted to, I could get some power armor. It's always nice to find some power armor. Damn it, that's what I wanted. Right. Jack, don't be running. Oh my god, Jack. God forbid he ever waits for me. Although he is pretty good with that laser pistol of his. Damn, I thought I could get it from this distance. Where are you? Why is everything so dangerous here? Oh, 
Guys, don't go too close to that. We're gonna get... Fuck. That I did not want. Fuck. That is what I did not want. Did not want to get into a fight with these assholes. Good. Jack's running that way. Perfect. Good, 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 good. Good. Let's not get caught up in that. Thank you. Yeah, I'd really not rather not have a gigantic grand melee in this spot of the Commonwealth. And it's very easy to happen. That particular junkyard is uh, occupied by a bunch of gunners. Who boy, are they well equipped. We did encounter a couple of these uh, raiders. Already, they came out into the road while we were at the slog. We had to fight a few of them. They had flamethrowers. That was not pleasant. It was up here. That looks like Minutemen. Cool. We got a nice little Minutemen patrol. That'll help us out. Come on, Jack. Pick up the pace now. Pretty badass. Right. I doubt he's going to go across the road here. Yep, and he's not. Yeah, I, for I forgot exactly how Jack what tends to... Oh, for fuck's sakes. I wonder what its original species was. <sighs> Thankfully, Curie's pretty accurate with that. Let's shoot that thing first. Now then. I hate insects so much. We got him. Now that. Oh. Maybe this is the spot. There it is. Have you found something interesting? Also take that bloat flag land. We need that for Dr. Duff. Oh shit, here's where the assault run is. Oh, that's random. Just a random Brahmin running through. Uh, Brahmin, you don't want to run through there. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's fine. Figured the assault run would have shot the... Uh, okay, never mind. Must be fine. We must have taken it out when we were dealing with the uh, super mutants at Breakheart, Breakheart Banks. And we'll pick up some mutated fern. We can make some interesting chems with that. Are you really going to cross this way, Jack? I don't think so. I think you're going to go over there. Yep, you are. Jack does take a very odd path. It's almost like he forgot. Today, Jack. Today. Yeah, that's where we're going, Parsons. He's certainly taking an interesting way to get there. I think he's going to want to go all the way over there and then cross where it's a little more narrow. But then again, he may just go over there. Come on, buddy. You know what? Fine. Fuck it. Let's just cross this river. Let's speed things along. Hopefully Jack will warp to us. Or we'll just go over here and wait for Jack to join us. He will at some point. This is where we need to go. But yeah, normally we come down this way. I'm not sure what's so broken with Jack's uh, pathing here at the moment. Come on, Jack. You can do it. You can make it. 
For fuck's sakes, Jack. Jack, why did you go that way? Ugh. He is so confused. Whatever. Fine. He must have just run up this way. Why? Not really sure. But fine. Take the shotgun shell. I did not want that. You know what? We don't need that many of those. Edward's men seem to have given a good account of themselves. But not good enough, sadly. We need to get to my office. From there, we can see how bad things really are. Okay, stick close, follow my orders, and I'm sure everything will be fine. Let's go. Whatever you say, Jack. Yeah, I'm definitely taking some Yagwai ribs here. Because who boy does this shit get crazy? blocked from the other side somehow. We'll have to find a way around. I can't believe this is gonna be worse than trouble. But there's the place. Nothing but dust and junk. Oh, it's gonna be worth it. If lefty's right about this being where that Where do you ask all this coming from? All right, heavy caliber it is. Actually, while I'm thinking about it, let's put those knuckles back on there. About to, sh about to launch a. Uh, we'll definitely take that noodle cup. Uh, frag grenade up there. Shouldn't a coroner be doing that instead? <laughs> oh, Curie, you're awesome. Totally missed that first shot. I don't. I probably thought that was a fucking raider. Take that hot plate. I'll definitely take the Med X. Picking this lock for sure. Yeah. Nice job, Seraph. A little more? Uh, am I going the wrong way? I am going the wrong way. Sweet. Yeah, it's fine. Let's see. This. I mean, Curie doesn't like these, but. Still XP, and there's usually some good ammo in them. Got it that time. Got it. Nothing else here. Again, I have survived the hostilities. <laughs> yes, you have, Curie. We don't need the, uh, don't need that nav marker on anymore. Okay, duct tape. Take that. Come on, Jack. I'll let him remove the, uh, chain. I think we're going through that door. Yep. 
badly are you hurt? I'm not dead yet, but I don't think I can get up. You kept them from using the elevator? Yeah. I... I sent the elevator down to the basement, like you wanted, and shut it down. Good. Shot quite a few of them before they decided to leave me alone in here. Yeah. Haven't seen anybody for quite a while. I think. It's hard to keep track of time. Are you sure you can't get up? I could really use your help. Yeah, Jack. I'm pretty damn sure. Well, <laughs> don't worry about it. Me and your friend here will have to take care of things ourselves. They've definitely reached the basement. Although I don't understand how they knew how to get past it. It doesn't matter now. We'll have to go through the abandoned part of the building. It looks like the Abremelin field is still functioning. Although several of the security doors in the basement have already been breached. We better hurry if we want to stop them. They seem determined to reach Lorenzo. What exactly is going on here? I suppose it's time you knew. It's hard to overstate exactly how dangerous the artifact has made Lorenzo. In addition to being homicidally psychotic, he has also gained enhanced strength an unusual resistance to most kinds of physical damage. He also commands a kind of local telekinesis, which appears to be projected by the artifact itself. Now, we need to get to the basement before these intruders find a way to set Lorenzo free. Follow me. Be careful, Jack. You too. There we go. Now then, nothing says pizzazz like a winning smile. And so now our charisma, thanks to that, is now 11, which is why we raised Charisma to 10 before taking the bobblehead. There. Now are we going back this way? No. Huh? Oh, oh, fuck it. What? Disappearing, you <laughs> There we go. Oh, we got a legendary, huh? Nothing useful here, but let's find out what these assholes had on them. This asshole was over here somewhere. Shit. Nice job, Jack. Wait, where was this legendary fucker? He was right around here. What's right? Oh, there he is. Uh, all right, sure, we'll take that. All right, well, while you're uh, recovering there, Jack, cruise up here. We'll take a quick look around. See what's up here. Fortunately, lots of stim packs. Oh, I'm surprised I don't see a. Uh, Okay. Well, I guess that's that, then. There, we'll pick up Mentats. We'll take that. We'll definitely take the desk fan. These desk fans are fucking awesome. <laughs> Check should catch up to us here. Mess. Let's hope we can find a way through. The utility elevator is on the bottom floor. Come on. Not exactly Who's there? the pushover that we were promised. Oh, hell no! What the uh, uh, Spread uh, out! Find them! Uh, Four of them! Uh, 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 that's right, yeah, there really is inadequate. Damn. Ow! Still managed to get up to me and smack me in the face. Maybe I missed him? I don't think so. I think I was hitting all those times. The Commonwealth is a very filthy place. For shame. Give up now. I'll make it At this point, we're just fighting through this. There's really no point to Whoops. There we 
we go. That was a nice shot. Bastard. going this way, aren't we? Yeah. Did I just not see which way we're... Oh, it's a little hole in the wall, literally. Come on, Seraph. There we go. Fucker. Didn't even know it was coming. Take poppy pins. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Poor fuckers. I don't remember if there's anything valuable in here. Let's go check. No sign of them now. Yeah, we'll pick this lock though. Got it. Sweet. Come on. It's over. They must have run off. Girl, laugh. You big God's sake, but how many of these bastards are there? What? I need some goddamn fire support. There we go. Definitely take that uh, buff out and jet. Biometric scanner. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we don't have time for this. Oh shit. That could have been bad. Bunch of useless fucking items here. Hey dog me. Heads up. Uh, actually, no. Where's Kiri? Hey, Kiri. Fuck are you, Kiri? Damn it. Better if I had Kiri. Much rather have Kiri here. Good. The old utility elevator is still working. Yeah, I know, buddy. Let's pick this. Let's see if I can offload some of that weight, but I'd rather give it to Curie rather than dog meat, because I generally prefer to give dog meat nice. stuff I intend to hold on for a little while. So I don't want to be worrying about, oh, what did I give him that I don't want to give Curie? Fuck, I'm gonna have to just give it to dog meat. Heads up. All right, here you go, buddy. Ugh. And we'll give you that, give you that. That's what I'm using. Yeah, we'll give you the Zeta gun. Let's go into wait. At least that way it's not crazy amount. Okay. That's fine. All right, you can get in. Oh my god, Jack, get the fuck in there. Thank you. It's fine. Game will sort it out. <laughs> One of the issues when you got an entire like posse going with you through the Commonwealth. It's hard to fit in elevators. Lighter stuff now. Don't need canned dog food. Kill everyone you see. Don't hesitate. We can't let them release Lorenzo. We need the key. Okay. Jack, if you can unlock that door for me, that'd be great. Hi. They managed to free Lorenzo before I can stop them. It's not worth thinking about. 
<laughs> there we go. Thank you. Here we go. Going knee deep in the shit. trying to shut down the Abremelin field. That's the only thing keeping Lorenzo from breaking out of there. We need to get in there and stop them. Hello, Jack. It's been a long time since I've had the pleasure of a personal visit. Father, I will stop this. My powers have grown, Jack. The artifact still has so much to teach me. Once I am free, I will be happy to teach you too. You know I can't let you out until I can remove the artifact. They see Lucifer's balls. They've locked down all the security doors. I'll have to open them one by one from here while you work your way down the hallway. Quickly now. I love his expression. Lucifer's balls. Shit, they're breaking through the security doors. Hurry it up. You'd best hurry it up. I'm opening the main My door. Son is quite hurry. capable of stopping you. Apparently, even the simplest task was beyond your capabilities. That's it. I can feel my strength returning. Now, I will finally be free. Where are these assholes? There we go. Enter the failsafe codes. It's not too late. It will take some time for him to regain his powers. We still have a chance to stop him. Don't listen to my son. He's the crazy one know this. Look at what he's done to me. I built a failsafe into the containment grid. Switch the four Abremelin generators to manual override, and I can flood his cell with a lethal dose of Zeta radiation. Do the right thing. Open this door and let me out. If you don't set the generators soon, he'll free himself and then we're all dead. Everything my son has told you about me is a self-serving lie. That must be obvious now. <laughs> He's and so at this point, you have the choice. You either side with Jack and help him kill Lorenzo or side with Lorenzo opening the door and, uh, and essentially killing Jack. And uh, there are different rewards for the various outcomes. If you obvious, so the mysterious serum, which kind of already alluded to, comes from Lorenzo. And so if you free Lorenzo, you get an unlimited source of Mysterious Serum. And for many, many players, that's worth it. But we are going to not unleash a serial killer on the Commonwealth. Yes. Now set the other three generators. Do the right thing. Let me out of here. Uh, let's get this one. Here we go. Don't worry, the Zeta radiation won't harm you. I'm sorry, Father. I did everything I could to avoid this. I believe I was close to finding a way to remove the artifact. Liar! You'll get upon me here forever if you've had your way, puny worm. Do you truly think you have the power to destroy me? <laughs> Father. Now there's a magazine in there, but to prevent the quest from getting glitched, we have to wait. But yeah, Ms. Lefty has four of these anyway. It can be unsanitary to handle the deceased. That is very true. It can indeed be unsanitary to handle the fucking deceased. Pick up these, and we'll definitely Hell take yeah. more mysterious serum. Excellent. All right. Take some more glass. All right. Now we talk to Jack. We should be coming over here, but if we talk to him in the hallway, the uh, camera angles get really, really, really fucking weird. But yes, much better than elbow deep or neck deep. Come on, Jack, hurry up and get out of here so we don't have the bizarre camera angle. Dog meat, oh my god. Thank you. <clears throat> we didn't have any other choice, did we?
It was the only option left. I hope you're right. I think this time I really was close to finding a way to cure him. His crimes, back when he was free. It was only because of my family's influence that he ended up here, rather than on death row. The world now, it's a world made for monsters. Nothing could have stopped him. No, I've answered my own question. We truly had no choice. I'm sorry about Lorenzo. Thank you. I appreciate that. Before you go, I couldn't have done this without your help. I think this is fair compensation. I won't be needing your services after this. Great. Thanks. One more thing. I've done so much research on the artifact. I may be able to do something with it. Come back and see me at Cabot House in a week or so. All my research may not have been completely in vain. So yeah, if you uh, open the door now, if you come back in a week, he uh, he won't give you the extra reward for uh, for helping him uh, essentially save the Commonwealth from Lorenzo. And uh, when I made, you know, I'll I'll take this Luxembourg handy pot. Yeah, that was a very successful quest line. Got to Charisma 11. Scientific progress takes time. <laughs> that it does. That it does. Yeah, uh, the item he gives you, I don't know, I have mixed emotions about it. On one hand, it's like, in one way, it's very OP. Because uh, it's like a kinetic, it's like a directed kinetic energy weapon. But in the other, it's, um, I don't know, I just was never a big fan of it. We'll take the crystal liquor decanter. All right, and we have, uh, yeah, there's nothing else in here of use. Let's get the hell out of here. And now we figure out what the hell Seraph is doing now. Let's go back to the Commonwealth. <laughs> and sometimes it goes blank, <laughs> or sometimes it goes boink. <laughs> boink. Take that. Yeah, Maria is around here somewhere. Yeah, these mercenaries just got completely wiped out. So yeah, for the uh, raiders that stole the courier's mysterious serum, they then used it, got berserk, and then stormed the place. All right, so now we're going to go down to the Finch farm and see what uh, Abraham Finch needs. But for now, let's cruise over to the slog. Let's cross, actually, let's cross over here. So we don't have that far to go. We'll dump all our shit. Oh, I could have gone over this way. Um, and we'll do that so we don't have to carry all this shit. We'll take some more mutated fern. That's one of the nice parts about having connected settlements. When you want to just dump your shit, you don't have to take it all the way across to your home base. You can just dump it in a linked workshop and that's good enough. Yep, there's that's where we cross. And just like that, crossed without getting irradiated. Oh, uh, right. Forgot about this door. Let's pick this block. Or just break a fucking bobby pin. There we go. Yes. Did not want to grab that. Don't need canned dog food. Snack bar, no. Well, this is it. I can't believe I'm going to die in a fucking snack bar. I know I should have propped the door open. Two steps in, I heard the click behind me. All because Brian said there might be a snow cone machine in here. Goodbye, crew world. I don't see the body, but yeah. Oh, there is the body. Yep. So poor bastard. Couldn't figure out how to get out. So you end up uh, starving to death in here. I always thought that was kind of sad. It's like shit. <laughs> I think that is out of the build area, which is unfortunate because these are like super cool. 
Um, you know, I always wondered what these were. It's too. F it's obviously not a diving area. Eh, whatever. All right, dog meat. You would come over here, buddy. If we had a good supply of clean water, things would be pretty good. No, do you not have enough water? These might not have enough water. Let's fix that. Look alive. Come on. Come on. Thank you. And while I'm also at it, let's army fatigues that can all go in there break that down at some point oh we got a lot of death claw meat oh shit nope those razor grain we're definitely keeping the Salisbury steak and the fancy, the pre-war snack cakes. Hell yeah, we are. Okay. All right, we're now down to a decent weight. Now, what is the story with that? Oh, they don't have enough water. Why don't they have enough water? That makes no sense. Well, all right. That's easy enough to fix. There's water there. And we'll set up some water just over here. Oh, there. There you go, guys. Go. We got water. Okay. That's better. Perfect. Problem solved. Weight's taken care of. Now I just need to head back to the road, and now we go south. Trying to avoid freaking Saugus as much as possible. Tell so a good doc what's wrong with you. Spend your caps, and I'll make it all better. Are you really a doctor? Am I a doctor? Let me show you my degree from the school of saving wise asses like you. I'm a positive <laughs> institution in these parts, so you need help or what? Actually, I need some supplies for the road. You got the caps? I got the goods. The doc Weathers is cool. He's also... A rare source of glass when we start looking for glass. So that will be fucking badass as hell. But in the meantime, let's sell some of this extra shit that we don't need. Um, yeah, I don't need that much Radex. Yeah, we'll just. Yep, perfect. Hey, thanks for the money, buddy. The you got a better chance At least the pay is terrible. <laughs> Gotta love the sassy caravan guards. Okay, nobody on the bridge. Ah, oh, for fuck's sakes. Ah. Oh. I know there's a forged out there. There you are. Hoping not to even have a fight with any of them. That worked too. Jeez. Yeah, that one's going to be hard to hit from here. Could use a critical hit to make sure I get it, but. There we go. That's a little better. Problem solved. Next. Oh, there you are. Headshot. Saw the flash. Oh, and then you ran out that way. Only a fucking coward. 
out of range. Now, well, now they're now they are. Deal with them in a little bit. <laughs> we'll deal with them on the return trip. Here we go, the Finch Farm. This is actually a fun settlement to build on, too. For whatever reason, this gets attacked so often. Hey, you! Oh, sorry. Thought you might be one of those forged maniacs, but you don't have the burns. A group of them took over the old ironworks. And they'll shoot you just as soon as look at you. True. I'm with the Minutemen. Tell me what happened, and maybe I can help. Well, I'll be jiggered. <laughs> Didn't really expect anybody to come. That bastard son of mine, Jake, snuck out in the middle of the night to join him. He grabbed my granddad's old sword. It's the closest thing I've got to an heirloom. If you really are with the Minutemen, and you want to help, well... It would mean a lot to me if you could get that sword back. What about your son, Jake? You don't care what happens to him? I didn't raise my boys to be raiders. As far as I'm concerned, he's dead to me. Can you tell me anything else about the Forged? They're led by a guy named Slab. Came in from outside of the Commonwealth a few months back and started recruiting. Mostly they've just been strong-arming folks. But with how quick they've been growing, it's just a matter of time till the raids get worse. And this part's cool. What kind of a sword am I looking for? One of them old pre-war swords, rigged up to shoot flames from the blade. Probably why Jake thought they'd let him join. So, what do you say? Can you imagine a sword that lets you shoot flames from the blade? <laughs> I'll find it. You're doing me a big favor, and I'll make it up to you as best as I can. All right, so we got to go get the sword. And he wasn't particularly concerned about Jake, but we're going to try and save Jake. All oh, those fucking raiders. Never mind, that's what they were shooting at. They were shooting at the Brahmin. There's a natural Brahmin out here. You should wash your hands after that. Chicken that's what they were shooting. They weren't shooting at me. They were shooting at the poor defenseless fucking cow. Bunch of dicks. All right, so now we go over to the to the ironworks here, and that's what I'm looking for. Disable the tension trigger, so this trap doesn't go off. There we are. In we go. I think I took out all of the forged that were down here. But just the same, we'll try and be a little careful. Nope. Just when I jinxed myself here. Hey, they're up there. Yeah, I'm thinking heavy caliber for these assholes. So I usually don't try to even come over here until I'm level... 40 or 50 I'm level 45 so yeah this is about the level we can handle this shit we love setting you on fire shit okay I missed the Molotov nice shot Curie damn Curie that was a really nice shot There we go. Still got one more. Oh yeah, you're dead. Kill shot time. <laughs> Blew your punk ass head off. Brought a baseball bat to a gunfight, douchebag. Yeah, these forged do not fuck around. They are... 
super fucking crazy motherfuckers. They are tough raider. They're probably, in my opinion, they're the toughest raider gang in the Commonwealth. They are. They are the real deal. Look alive. No, dog meat. Get away from the freaking aluminum can, buddy. Ah. Uh. All right. I think at this point I can go back to my primary weapon. Good. We're starting to get some good ammo with this. I'll take the flamer fuel. Oh boy. First time playing this game on PlayStation. I died so many times doing this mission, but I was like, so I think only level 20 trying to do it. So I was under level for this spot. fucking brains out. I know that. Yep, there you are. Good. There you are. Saw that. As he's hiding himself behind that vat. Douchebag. I saw you run behind it. <laughs> All right, let's get the angle. We'll definitely take the super thought antifreeze. Let's get the angle on this piece of shit. I thought he was still down there. It's alright, we both surprised each other. So it worked. Uh, yes, we'll take those. Go up here and we'll grab. Thank you. Thank you. I will definitely take that. And let's cruise over here. See what you've got. I don't need the flamer. But I will take the flamer fuel. Thank you. Same thing. I think... Yep, there it is. The tension trigger. Yep, you'd get pipe rifle. And there's nothing in here anyway. It's just a trap. Fine. Anything in here? Eh, we'll take jet. We will indeed take jet. So at some point, we'll also want to go up there. Oh, yeah, I knew this guy was going to be here. Peekaboo, motherfucker. There's nobody else here. See what's in this toolbox. Bad. Them flamethrower rough on agent. They really are. Oh my god, they're terrible. Those flamethrowers, they fuck you up so fast. It's crazy, and they light you on fire. So not only do you take damage from the flamer, but then you take damage because you're on fire. It sucks. Taking all the drugs so no one else can have them except you. <laughs> That's exactly right. I always pick up every every chem I can. Hell, I even see a few over here. We're going to grab those. Nope. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Oops. I was about to walk off the edge there. But fine. Fine, 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 fine. It's cool. It's cool. I'm not bitter. Not better about missing the jet. I'll have to pick it up next time when I cruise around. There's always a fucking raider here. But not this time. No, you're over here this time. Got it a second try. Where is it? Oh, there's a frag mine. Oh, shit. There you are. That's those two down. Take the rib cage. Yeah, we'll take bone. Um. Ah, you're asleep. Good. I can work with that. Ooh, right. Perfect. 
break down some of these things. Seraph's character to be the next Mama Murphy. <laughs> yeah, right? Um, you know what? Let's let's take the lucky off. Nah, I don't need Ghoul Slayer. Fuck that shit. Okay, we got everything else. We're good. Dog me. Good boy. Let's take this shit. Okay, now we break these down. I don't need a poisoner. I don't need a freezing. Animals. Nah. I don't need that. Uh, we'll take the penetrating off. Definitely going to keep that syringer rifle. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, at some point, oh boy, are we going to rack up the chems? So we're going to raid, um, what's his name's? Morowski's chem lab. Eh. I think we've got chems now. Oh boy. All right. Let's... This fight ends up being a little tough. A little curious here. It's not Stimpak, Psychojets 9. Good, okay. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be taking some Psychojet here for this. Help! If she tries to leave, kill her. You must be pretty strong to make it here. It was easy. Most of them were never going to be worth forging in the first place. See, Jake? Here's someone who might actually be worth my time. Unlike you. But, They're going to kill me. But I brought everything you asked for. Stealing things from your family farm doesn't prove your strength, boy. Though this wonderful sword you brought does put me in the mood to give you one last chance to prove your worth. What do you say? Kill that prisoner and prove that you aren't completely... You said we'd be raiding outside the Commonwealth. These people aren't even a threat to us. Prove to me that you can kill! It's him or you. Oh god, what do I do? What do I do? I love how you say kill him, Jake, and that's a viable option. Please Walk let me away, go. Jake. What's it gonna you be, You don't have Jake? to do this. You're right. I don't want to do this. I don't want to join the forge. I just want to go home. Last These chance. criminals are heavily armored. Caution. Man, I love Psychojet. Well, that was the end of that. <laughs> oh, man. All right, where's Jake? Wait, where's Jake? Oh, shit. Did Jake die in that? Oh, shit. Did Jake die in that? Where's Jake? Hey there. Thanks a lot. I'm getting out of here. Yeah, nope, you are good. Did I accidentally kill Jake? Or did that guy kill Jake? Oh, no, here he is. <clears throat> wait, wait, I'm sorry. I, I messed up. I panicked. Always happy to help. I don't know what I was thinking trying to join them. Look, I, I should probably try to go home and make amends. I know I've got no right to ask, but I bet if you're there to explain, things with my dad would go mm. easier. I bet if you bring my great-granddad's sword, he he'll make it worth your while. He always tries to deal fair with people. I'll wait for you by the overpass near the farm. All right, so we'll meet with Jake over there. I was actually legitimately worried that I had uh, 
managed to accidentally hit him in the crossfire. Alright, so let's... We will take the shish kebab. One of the coolest weapons in the whole fucking game. Yeah, chicken shit Jake from Stay Farm. <laughs> oh, it's fucking great. Yeah, we'll take the Saugus key. I could take Raider power armor, but it's not really worth it. Let's go with these. Um, wait, where is... There it is. The explosive bobblehead. <clears throat> the best way to solve a problem is to make it go away. <laughs> I thought there was a... Oh, there it is. Shotgun shells. I thought there was something else here. Maybe not. Maybe not. But yeah, we can go into Slag's terminal. See what he thinks of the other raiders. Yeah, we'll take that blowtorch. Fuck it. But yeah, you can see why I love Psychojet. Psychojet is freaking amazing. Oh, shit. Ugh. There we go. Okay, we got it. Weak. Weak recruits so far. They break instead of honing to an edge. May have to abandon operations in a commonwealth altogether unless we uncover a better source. And so, yeah, he just kind of goes over this shit. Another flawed candidate. Attempts to bribe his way in, but the blade he gave is impressive. I'll give him the trials. Even if he fails, I'll still have something to show for it. Uh, oh, scrap shipments from Dunwich Borers may have halted. Or have halted. Sent Bedlam to light the fire under the worms. Ah. So we got a line of uh, materials here. We'll see Corvega. Jared and his crew are dead. No surprise. Doubt he was even sober enough to enjoy the fight. <laughs> so as uh, as you can see, as we deal with the raider gangs, they will also note that somebody else is dealing with raiders in the Commonwealth. Yeah, I just thought that was kind of cool. And depending on the order you do things, obviously the uh, messages will... We'll uh, keep adding. So anyway, let's head out. I don't recall anything being on the roof, but it is quick to get to the roof and then hop down so we don't have to go through the whole thing, but there's nothing on the roof that really makes it worth it. We'll just get the hell out of here. Oh, didn't even notice that. Yeah, we'll take toothpaste. Fuck yeah. Materials. We like materials. So I guess it's great for a number of things like oil and um well flamer fuel yeah right oh we did kill a couple of raiders yeah let's take that and we also killed a raider over here let's root it let's loot its body there it is and i'll be careful not to do that uh, damn it Really? I can't pick up this forged? Seriously? I just want to fiddle with this real quick. There we go. <laughs> I just want to see if this will do what I think it will do. <coughs> and I'm not sure if it will, but it w it is going to be hilarious if it does. I think we have to take this. Ah, uh, it does, but it's under there and we can't. Oh. Well. The working ironworks could be most useful for some of my plants. <laughs> yeah, never mind. Uh, but yeah, it completely cremates the body to a completely burned hulk. If I didn't drop it completely in, I think we would have seen it. Pretty neat. Now the door opens. I didn't see where that freaking jet fell. So, oh well, I'll have to live without the jet. Yeah, we'll take the plunger, take the tablespoon. We're good here. Time to leave. Uh, yeah, I don't need whiskey. Okay, grab that lantern. Sometimes you can grab the lanterns, which is pretty nice. Rats, I'm already starting to get hungry. I feel like we just started and I'm getting hungry. <laughs> oh, well. We got some other more fun stuff to do. Now we go meet Jake by the underpass. Or by the overpass. And we'll 
try and talk them into it. Then we'll build some shit at Finch Farm. Sometimes I build up Finch Farm extensively. Excuse this time I don't think I'm going to so do that. Nervous. I, I feel like I'm going to throw up. Here goes nothing. You're going to be fine, Jake. What the? Boy, I told you this. Abraham, what's going your on? Face here again, Is I... that my boy come home? What? Jake's back? Oh, thank God. Papa, please. I, I know I screwed up pretty big. I, I thought if I joined up, I could keep them from raiding our farm. I didn't. I don't want to hurt anybody. I don't care what you thought. I told you. Abraham Francis Finch, that's enough. Mama, if... Shut up, Jake. If I hear anything out of either of you, you'll both be peeling potatoes for the next year. I've watched you two go at it for years and tried to let you sort it out for yourselves. Abraham, your son is a grown man. And if you expect him to act like one, then you'd better stop treating him like a child. Jake, your father and I have been out there, and we know it can be dangerous. We just want to make sure you're prepared. There, it's over. And if I hear another word about it from either of you, so help me. She's right. Abraham. She's right. I've been a fool. There's no way I can thank you enough. Here's the caps we agreed on. Plus a bit for helping my boy. I think you should hang on to that sword. It'll put a smile on Granddad's face to know it was being used to help people. Woohoo! Is this worth anything? It's now we can grab a couple of things. I'll take those buckets just because they're cluttered. Okay. And we grabbed a decent amount of materials. Come on, let me out. Okay, in you go. I don't think... You know what? Yeah, no. Grab that empty paint can. Supply line to the slog. It's literally just up the street. You don't even have that far to go. Perfect. For some reason, this place always gets attacked fucking constantly. Drives me crazy. <clears throat> we already have an artillery cannon um, at the slog, so we don't really need one here. The only thing I will want to do is build enough turrets so that this place can defend itself if necessary. Certainly make enough food. Cool. Okay. We're good there. Alright. Now, most of the time, things try to fuck with this place. They try to come in through this direction. This is where we're going to build. Mm hmm, hmm, hmm. There we go. Can't tell you many times, for whatever reason, Finch Farm just seems to be a magnet for getting attacked. So up here the turrets go. Come on, buddy. Thank you. Excellent. Okay. So we got defense 20. That really should be enough. Just one more. Fine. Oh, the water is over there. That's fine. We'll put it here. Bowling pin. Bowling pin. Now, one of the nice things about the Finch Farm, this area as a settlement, it has an extremely high build rate. And you can build on top of the freeway, which is pretty neat. But for now... I think I'm inclined to keep my settlement building at least to a moderation. I'll still store a decent amount of that in there. Okay. 
Well, maybe that's because you're an Allstate turf and mayhem is just around the corner. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Jeez. Madame, may I borrow you for a moment? Excellent. We're already starting to do this. Cool. Is everything all right? On the whole, no. It is not. I have spent much effort gathering information in our travels so far, and my self-diagnostics have come to a green conclusion. It is not lack of data or lack of collaboration which stifles my scientific progress. The inescapable truth is there has never been a great robot scientist. Robots can do amazing things, but surely they've contributed to science. When directed by a human, they have. But on our own, we tread predictable paths. The greatest scientific minds of history, the Einsteins and the Curies, my namesake, have had something beyond raw data analysis capabilities. They have had a spark. This elusive inspiration is something I must possess. If there's a way you can do that, you should. In fact, I must. If I am to advance my understanding of medicine in this strange world, I must embark on a great adventure. I must become human, or as close as I can. I must find a way to download all that I am into a human brain. I know someone that might be able to help. Dr. Amari. Please, then we must go to her and talk. Perhaps this is an impossibility, but it must be pursued. <laughs> and it begins emergent behavior. Now we head down to Good Neighbor. We're moving right along here. Let's also level up. Okay, we've got that. At this point, we've got. Uh, we could start boosting agility. We could start really posting up attack dog. Because we have dog meat with us all the time. And adventuring your dog would take 10% less damage. That is pretty nice. Hmm. Or we do blitz. Hmm. Would be nice to get to blitz so we can get that melee damage. That's not that critical. Let's go with, let's start boosting agility here. Let's begin. No, I'm not fucking with that shit right now. God damn. Uh, Alright, so you know what I am going to do? Let's, let's pause for a quick moment. I'm going to third, insert third insurance joke with good neighbor punchline here. <laughs> As we get ready to fast travel to Good Neighbor, I'm going to take a quick bio break and refill my water really fast, but I shall return extremely shortly. And I'm actually just going to play an ad so it doesn't do as many of those uh, as we get back. So give me two seconds, everybody. I shall return very shortly.
So girl, don't. So you're not a good girl. Are you? <laughs> but like, uh, that was almost. But yeah, the insurance jokes pretty much write write themselves, right? <laughs> Ah, uh, there we go. And as we get closer and closer here, uh, Griff's going to have to figure out what he wants to do for dinner. And I'm not sure exactly yet. But let's see. All right. So um, oh, it would help if I actually shifted focus. There we go. We're back. Excellent. That's beautiful. Okay. Now then, let's fast travel. County crossing. These are all linked. Oh, right. I could also go to the Mechanist's Lair and connect that and start building up uh, the Mechanist's Lair is like my little true uh, one of my like real player homes. So I do like using the Mechanist's Lair for that. Yeah, let's go to good neighbor here. Hello. Hello, cat. I know. I love you too, cat. <laughs> Ow, 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 ow! You can't keep biting my leg. I love you, cat, but you can't keep doing that. No, my leg is not a toy! Ow! Cleo, hi. You don't need to bite me to get attention. You could just hop up on the table. Yes, you can. I promise. I will pet you if you would just come up here. Shithead. Yes, I love you, cat. I know, I know. Jeez. Like, I know you're there. <laughs> I do, I promise. Good grief, Let's cat. talk about Vault 81. Some problem there you were caught up in? Quarantine or some such? Damn, you get around. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Hancock, he runs things here in Goodman. Good man for the job. Fair. Yeah. All right, now let's cruise up. Leo, quit playing with my foot. It is not a toy. Come on, Curie. Come on down. Come on. There we go. Yeah, if she doesn't come in here, the camera angles get very bizarre, too. Doctor, my friend here needs your help. Oh, I'm not a mechanic. <laughs> what could she possibly want from me? Greetings, Doctor. I wish to download my data and core programming into a human brain. You... you want what? Is she serious? Curie has a lot of pre-war research data, but she can't continue her work as a robot. Why not? There are fundamental limitations in my robotic systems. I have no capacity for the human trait of inspiration. I've never considered anything like your proposal. It's an interesting problem. The memories wouldn't be hard. We translate those from the brain to computers and back all the time here. It's how the loungers work. Her personality, though, all the extra pieces of robotic program decision making, a normal organic brain wouldn't know what to do with them. A synth brain, on the other hand, well, it's already somewhere between the two. <laughs> I love this. What do you know about synths? <laughs> so it is possible then. Likely even. We just need a synth. And I may be able to help with that. I've worked on synths before. Giving them memory wipes so they can live a life free of the Institute. But the procedure isn't always successful. If something goes wrong, it can leave them in a brain-dead state. Living, but with no cognition. I know a caretaker for one of these brain-dead synths. If they're willing, we could try transferring your friend's consciousness into her. I'd like to try. We just need her caretaker's consent. Give me a day to get in contact with them. They are understandably cautious, but I think they'll hear me out. I will stay with the doctor. Assuming all goes well, I want to be ready for the procedure. The caretaker should get back to me soon. She's not one to wait. 
All right, and so now let's start with the rest of these. Let's do another quest. Hi. Good neighbors, crazy. Thefts, <laughs> murders, worse. Sometimes you just got to escape a little to make it through the day. I hear you. It's a mess out there. It's rough in the best of days. B but now, you ever listen to the Silver Shroud? Huh. That's what we need. No matter how bleak things got, he saved the day. My family and I used to listen to every new episode. You mean when they first aired? How? The last broadcast was hundreds of years ago. <laughs> I'm a time traveler. I just got back from visiting George Washington. <laughs> I was in cryogenic storage for a long time. I only just woke up. Oh, man, that's amazing. You're just like Mr. Abominable from episode 83. Wasn't he a caveman? Yeah, that's the one. They found him in an iceberg off the harbor. Boy, if you just woke up. The world these days must take some getting used to. It seems like people are finally rebuilding and recovering from the nuclear war. Maybe in some parts, like Diamond City, but over here, we got a ways to go. I got a question for you. What if the Silver Shroud was real, with his black trench coat and gleaming silver submachine gun? I got a plan to bring him to life, so we can fight bad guys and give the rest of us a symbol of something better. <laughs> You know, you're completely nuts, right? <laughs> Good on you for trying to make the world better. I just have to do something, you know? I've built my own custom machine gun, even better than the one in the show. But to make this work, I still need the most important piece. The genuine Silver Shroud costume herself. And they actually got one here in Boston. They made it for the TV show. Will you help? As it happens, I already have your costume. There she is, pretty as the posters. The Silver Shroud costume herself. And memorabilia too? Here's something else. Together with my gun, everything's all set. So if you remember, we went to uh, Huber's Comics and we discovered the Silver Shroud set up there. So that's where we grabbed all that stuff earlier. Here you go. After all these years, the Silver Shroud is born again. But there's just one problem. I'm just not Silver Shroud material. I could be Rhett Reinhardt or, or his butler, Jarvie Blake. But the Shroud is strong, capable. That's the first sane thing you've said. <laughs> what happens to the suit? Oh, I have an idea who should wear it. You up for being the Silver Shroud? You already got your own origin story and everything. What with the cryo vault and all. Looks like I get to be the shroud. Yay. The costume and gun are yours. So you patrol good neighbor's streets and I'll call in any crimes on my radio station. What you doing, kitty kitty? Here's some calling cards, I guess. When you dispatch justice, leave them behind. That way, everyone knows the Silver Shroud has returned. Time to fight crime! <laughs> Give me two seconds. I'm not even going to hit pause. I'm just going to cruise over. Hi, baby girl. Are you stuck? Are you stuck? You stuck? Hello. Look at you. Look at girl. She's... I know, I know. Are you stuck? You're stuck. You're such a good... Did you get stuck? Or are you just hanging out there waiting for me to kill? <clears throat> I'm just making sure you're not looking for. Oh, Cap, I know. You are just a vortex of chaos. <laughs> well, it's all right. I know. All right, bye. Come here. Get my water. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you happy? Even though you have water on the floor for you that I poured just this afternoon? Yeah, you need to drink my water. I know. 
Oh, you are one spoiled cat. <laughs> but that's okay. You're loved, cat. All right. She's such a little shit. All right, let's do this. Let's fight crime. Sweet pit boy, sister. You hold on to that. I will certainly try. All right, so we've got server shroud armor. Server shroud hat. Fortunately, I do not have to use the gun he gave us. Galaxy News Radio. When evil walks the streets of Boston. Calling all Silver Shroud fans. A once in a lifetime announcement. The Silver Shroud returns and he's gonna clean up the streets. Holy moly, the Everyone Silver heard Shroud how Wayne in the Delancey flesh. Oh no, Miss death is Selby coming for me. Over a few <laughs> lousy caps. Death is coming for you, Wayne. Galaxy News Radio. So now all we have to do it. No, do not go behind my monitor. Cat, you can't. You cannot be back there. I love you, but you cannot go back there. I know I love you too. You cannot go back there. There are just wires. There is nothing good for you back there. Hi. Back up. Back up. Cleo. Hi. What are you doing, cat? Hi. Okay. You know what? Let's... Hmm. <clears throat> Hi. <laughs> Let's just talk with chat for a minute while you are being a total brat. Come here, cat. She's right below the... No, don't rub up against my monitor. You can't rub and then it's that. Your teeth are sharp. You're going to damage the screen. You know, for all the toys you hit... No, 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 no. Come here. Back up. Cleo, why? Why? You have so much to play with. Why are you going after the one thing you can't? Hi. No, no, no. Back up. Back up. You already drank my water. Like, what else do you want? Hi. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Good grief. You know, if you're going to do this, Cat, you should at least be on camera so everybody can see you. Now you're going to sit on my mouse? Yeah, yeah, okay. Fine. You can sit there. I don't even know how you're making that work because you have to half your body's off the desk to make that work. Why don't you just sit on the rest of the desk? You know, this. so you guys can't see this, but literally right here, my entire desk has nothing on it. It is just one big empty space where Cleo could stretch out, lie down, enjoy herself. But no, she instead is cramming herself into a space about this big Right here. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness, Cleo. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> and I was petting her with my foot, but apparently that was not enough. She had to be she had to be up here front and center. That's okay. Kitty kitty. Who's my good kitty kitty? What's the problem, cat? Did nothing sneak into the house that you could kill? Is that your problem? Hmm? Is that your problem? Alright. You gonna keep me company, hun? Yeah, you gonna keep me company? All right, good girl. Good girl, all right. I do actually really like it when she keeps me company. She's my good cat. She's my good cat. All right, so let's try this again. I'll just, I'll just deal with the fact that my hand is a little off kilter here. Okay, let's turn that off for a minute. What's going on over here? <clears throat> What's with the fancy duds? Looks expensive. Might be I found a new friend. Your crimes have gone unpunished for too long. What the hell's wrong with you? Well, nothing a few bullets won't cure. You mess with me. <laughs> Keep hitting the wrong button. Okay, let's move my keyboard back over there. I don't think I need to use the hat, so let's not do the shroud hat. <laughs> that does not work with that. Uh, that does not work. Hi, hi, Cleo, what are you doing? 
No, you can't rub up against that. What are you doing, honey? Hi. What? What? Okay, Cleo. And, oh my goodness, my whole mic stand is about to come off. No, go that way. Thank you. Okay, let's fix that. Make sure it doesn't fall on you. I know, I love you too. I don't want the mic stand to fall on you, moron. Hi, cat. Hello. Oh my goodness, Cleo. Hi. Hello, hello, hello. Ay, ay, ay. You're lucky I love you, cat, because I put up with all of these various eccentricities of yours. Yes, I do. I think for some reason she wants to play with the strings that are behind my monitor. She does like to play with strings, although I tried playing with string with her earlier and she didn't want it. But for some reason, she really wants to use my mouse as a toy. And unfortunately for her, I, well, for what should be very obvious reasons, will not allow her to do that. So we dropped a calling card on there. Let's go back out here. Let's actually switch to a normal caliber weapon. Yeah, I know. I love you too, cat. Friend of the show, Jerry, is here. Is this thing on? Hello? Hello? It's on. Let me hear that. We're recording in here. Aw, oh, man. Great. Great. Silver Shroud's dispatched justice already. Miss Selmy has been avenged. Shit, the Shroud off Wayne? Wait, so this guy's actually for real? Oh, oh you, you better man. believe it. So, Jerry, go on. Tell the listeners about what we're talking about. Right. So, AJ, you know the chem dealer by Bobby's. He's doing good for himself. Says he's got a whole new market. Kids. Even with his garbage cams, he's just breaking in the caps. You hear that? Sounds like the Silver Shroud has another bad guy to deal with. Uh, why? This Shroud guy, he's gonna muscle in on the chem trade now? No. He's gonna do something about it. AJ's selling the kids. And his chems have killed people. And? I don't get it. I can't let AJ kill kids. Fred Allen at the Hotel Rexford, he can Whatever. hook you up with chems. Irma at the Memory Den, she offers... Galaxy! News! Whole other class of drug. Now we go over to Bobby's. Keep your hands where I can see them. Hey. AJ's connected with powerful friends. Don't be a sap. Play nice. <laughs> hey there. Hey, look at the clown. This is my turf, clown, and I don't appreciate what you call them trespasses. Peddling poison to kids, are we? Today you face the Silver Shroud! Uh, <laughs> who you say? Oh, for Christ's sake. Did Kent put you up to this? He keeps moaning about the poor little kids. What the hell, right? Tell you what. I'll pay you, let's say, 50 caps just to shut up about it. And uh, maybe get Kent off my back, all right? Stop selling to children, miscreant, or face my wrath! Screw you. Waste the freak. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn it. Didn't get to that stim pack fast enough. Well, let's see how much progress I just lost. <laughs> Here's a hundred caps to go fuck off, right? Ah, uh, fuck. I gotta do the whole thing over again. Shit. Damn it. Oh, that sucks so much. Alright. Good. Let's check that. Alright, let's get the hat off. Let's do that again. This time with less fail. 
Man, they fucking wrecked me. Jesus Christ. That is one of the only problems is when you're in this Silver Shroud outfit, you uh, don't have nearly the armor and protection that you're used to. A once in a lifetime announcement. The Silver Shroud returns and he's gonna clean up the streets. Everyone heard how Wayne Delancey murdered Miss Selmy and her kid over a few lousy caps. Death is coming for you, Wayne. Galaxy News Radio. Right, we've already been here, done that. We can just get through this pretty quick. Yeah, the fancy dress. Looks expensive. In the shadows, Might be a... Shielding the innocent, judging the guilty. Lights the out, pal. What? You mess with me, you're dead. Today's episode, a slave uh, in Scully Square. Shit, I didn't actually do this. Just a down this out. That should be Friend fine. Of the show, Jerry, is here. Is this thing on? Hello? Hello? It's on. We're recording in here. Aw, oh, man. Is that a silver shroud costume? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's something really low, like 10 defense or something. Stop playing with that wire. I love you. It's not a toy. Yes, chew my hand. You can chew my hand. That's fine. Wait, so this guy's actually for real? But it is awesome that it gives you the uh, Silver Shroud dialogue options. But yeah, the, you are very, very squishy. Right. So AJ, you know the chem dealer by Bobby's. He's doing good for himself. Says he's got a whole new market. Kids. Even with his garbage chems, he's just raking in the caps. You hear that? Sounds like the Silver Shroud has another bad guy to deal with. Don't uh, play with that why? cat. This shroud guy, he's gonna muscle in on the chem trade now? No. He's gonna do something about it. AJ's selling the kids. And his chems have killed people. And? I don't get it. Alright. Let's try this again. Stop we about to fail. Only friends of AJ. Hi. Hey, you'll follow. Look at the clown. This is my turf clown. And I don't appreciate what you call them trespasses. Fortunately, I have to be closer. Hey, look at the clown. This is my turf clown. And I don't appreciate... I was trying to back off and it didn't work. Trespasses. Peddling poison to kids, are we? Today you face the Silver Shroud! Uh, <laughs> who you say? Oh, for Christ's sake. Did Kent put you up to this? He keeps moaning about the poor little kids. What the hell, right? Tell you what. Stop selling to children, miscreant, or face my wrath! Screw you. Waste the freak. Much better. What, Kent? Hi. Hi, baby girl. Hello, cat. Cleo, what what do you want? You you're acting like you want something besides pets. Because you keep you can't you can't have the cable behind there. And you already got the good stuff. You already got fed. <laughs> you already got fed. There is nothing else that you can can have that you really should be looking for. Why are you being a brat? Hmm? It's all right. Cleo, why are you being a brat? You're asking for... What are you asking for? What are you asking for that I'm not giving you? You already got a treat. You got fed and you got a treat. You have toys. I tried giving you... Tried to get you played with a toy. You know, ones that you can actually play with. My wires are not toys, shithead. Grief cat. I'll we'll take the buff out. We'll leave the calling card. Okay. I'm sorry, folks. Give me one second. Cat, I do not know what your problem is. But obviously, 
having a problem. No, you're getting down. You can't be up here. You obviously can't stay up here. No, you're, you're getting into trouble. You can't be up here. I let you get away with murder all the time. No, you're getting down. You're getting down. No, you're getting in trouble. You can't bite my microphone cable. Number one, it will damage it. Two, we'll get shot. Can't damage that. That's what it was. <laughs> yeah, I knew she was, she, I knew she was, the way she was acting wasn't the usual, I just want attention and pets. Cause I can, I'm usually pretty good at multitasking. I could give her a pet while I'm like, uh, playing a game. And that's what, that's what she wanted. She wanted, oh, you know what? I was down there and I didn't get myself more water. Shit. Oh, well, it'll be all right. I'll save that for the next, I'll save that for the next break. It'll be okay. Of course, if somebody re redeems hydrate, I'm going to have to run downstairs, but I feel like I'm all right. I've been drinking water like crazy, so I'm okay for the moment. Okay. Sorry about that. She's usually not so uh, distracting. All right. So there's that. That's okay. She's a good girl. Uh, oh, right. Let's listen to that. Galaxy News! The Silver Shroud's bringing justice to good neighbor. You bad guys better look out. And now, a special update. The villainous assassin Kendra was recently spotted at the third rail. The same Kendra who bombed little Joe Shack and killed four innocent drifters. If you want to see the Silver Shroud in action, stay near Whitechapel Charlie. The Shroud's sure to interrogate him to find the evildoer's whereabouts. Galaxy News Radio. That is funny. A dehydrate where you eat a saltine instead. That's fucking great. Shielding the innocent, judging the guilty. That guardian is the Silver Shroud. Today's episode. 
Yeah, entertainments down the stairs. Oh, the entertainment's with me, buddy. <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah, we'll talk to Whitechapel. Keep Charlie your again. Strapped on. Hey, Charlie. Make way for paying customers. You look like one of them wankers from the posters. What you wearing that for? You look upon the Silver Shroud. I seek a miscreant named Kendra. Shroud, then? More like nothing. Kendra is not one to be trifled with. People associated with her have a habit of being found face down in a ditch. You're set on meeting her for a fee it can be arranged. It is not wise to stand between the silver shroud and righteous justice. <laughs> justice? <laughs> you mean to end her? In that case, her flat's just south of Good Neighbor. Water Street Apartments. Look out for the blighter she's got with her. Nasty piece of business, that. Good luck. <laughs> now let's go end Kendra. Hopefully not to get ourselves killed again. <sighs> oh, you just pick up cans off the ground. Huh? Nice. Although now I'm craving saltines. <laughs> Cruise over here. We'll end Kendra. Try not to get in whatever fight is going on over there. Okay, perfect. Shit. Right in the mouth. <laughs> What's going? Oh, shoot. No. Oh, come on. Stop. I should fix my keyboard orientation. Muscle memory carried me right over. Stuff in that douchebag. going on here that takes care of that oh fuck ah I think I was out of range. Not anymore for that. Okay. What the hell else is trying to shoot at me here? So what I could do is switch back to my normal outfit and then come in here and do this. Gave me a stim pack. Let's heal up here. Actually, we'll take that rad scorpion meat. Okay. So yeah, while we're squishy for this whole thing, 
We're definitely going uh, stealth. Stealth all the way. <laughs> well, cool. Thank you for giving even that stim pack back. We are not going up stairs. And okay, we're not taking. But for a first, we're actually not. We're not taking um, a bunch of junk with us. We're going to be at this for a while. And I don't think we're going to have an opportunity to be at a settlement for a little bit. But we will take you know, some rare valuable stuff, but for the most part, we're just going to be doing it this way. Okay. You must be Kendra. And <laughs> you, you're the crazy one. Wayne Delancey's killer. You have no idea who you're dealing with. I do so like it when the little bug crawls willingly into the spider's webs. You have taken your last life, villain. You stole my line. <laughs> Ooh, wow. First time in a while we've had a skull uh, enemy. Not that you're going to be able to take heavy caliber to the face. That's enough out of you, Kendra. Oh, you're actually giving us uh, medium combat armor. I'll take that. I almost wonder if I should... Oh, well, yeah, I wonder if I should take those. But now I'll, I'll leave that be for now. Take her cap stash. And that is the end of fucking Kendra. Man, this, this part of the fucking ruins is always such a crazy war zone. Sorry, sometimes I just get awestruck with uh, how beautiful the game can look. Especially with that kind of overcast sky. Over the ruins. The old state house. I have read this before, but yeah, right outside its doors, the Boston Massacre took place. Yep. Yep, there's a. There's a bird bird crashing, as is tradition. <laughs> who offed AJ and his goons. It was the Silver Shroud. See his calling card if you don't believe me. Now's our time, listeners. Justice is coming, a good neighbor. You'll see. Another headliner. Hancock seeks a special meeting with our hero, the Silver Shroud. Whatever it's about, be careful, Shroud. We're all with you. Galaxy! Oh, jeez. 
you ain't one of them Diamond City types, are you? Yeah, no. How you doing? You ever tried chess? Mayor Hancock, Sometimes you need guess to what someone tells me. To keep the game Some going. costume keep freak that is operating in good neighbor. And the kicker is, it ain't me. How should I feel about this? Hancock is one of the coolest freaking characters in this game. This neighborhood is ill. I am the cure. You're priceless. Like the silver shroud herself, I guess. Walked right out of a comic book. Priceless. You've been busy scaring people, bashing in a few faces. I respect that so far. But I gotta ask one freak to another. Why the getup? Many have sought to pierce the shroud to no avail. You just don't stop. <laughs> Stay you, pal. The lowlifes you took out all belong to the same asshole. And that asshole's planning some old-fashioned revenge on you. You dig? Fortunate for you, I want Sinjin to take a dirt nap. He's taken two bit raider outfits and made them scary. Small fish now. But if left alone. He will be judged for his crimes. Trust me, he needs a lot of judging. Got a lead on two of his own. Smiling Kate and Northy. Smiley is gathering a posse to take you out. And Northy is just running scared. Hired himself some goons and is holing up in prospect. Just keep piling those body bags up. Until you find the location of the big guy himself. Getting rid of Sinjin helps you too. Some appreciation is in order. And I'll throw you some caps up front to help with the cause. Once you <laughs> deal with Sinjin, then I'll show you some more gratitude on the back end. You feel me? Do -do 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 -do. This time I actually went through the correct door. Takes me a while, but I usually, you know, figure it out on a playthrough. Yeah. All right. Off to Kate and Northy. And we'll sneak up there. We'll take out these two goons and then things get real interesting. <laughs> In this case, yeah, I kind of need... Yeah, we may as well go there. Kill Smiling Kate, and then Northy's up that way. Okay, right. Here we go. Yeah, I don't think that's the bridge I'm going to want. I think I want the next... Yeah, I do want the next bridge over. That one's open. We go this way. Well, at this point, I can holster my gun. Oh, fucking super mutants? No. That's not good timing for that, thanks. What? Can't believe I missed that twice. Got the headshot that time, though. One of these days I should really modify that scope receptacle because it is confusing as fuck. Let's 
excuse me. Even if it isn't the girl behind the costume. <laughs> You've been really naughty, Mr. Stroud. Making all my friends so nervous with your calling cards. Taking out Sinjin's favorite toy soldiers. But now it's time to rip your goddamned heart out! What the? <laughs> One right after another, just for good measure. <laughs> and there it is. Ah, oh, it never gets old. <laughs> Get a calling card on you. Oh, you actually have a, you also have pretty decent stuff. Now then, let's deal with Northy. Oh, right. We have to clear out the... We have to clear that out anyway for this. And if we keep going, we eventually will lose the ability to do it. So you know what? Let's just go up here. Yeah, let's get a little sidetracked. It's okay. Now our armor is actually decent. <laughs> Doesn't suck completely. We have to clear out the National Guard training yard for Bunker Hill, but we also have to warn Shelly Tiller that somebody's trying to kill her. Fortunately, this is not going to take very long. We'll go up here. We'll clear this location really fast. Oh, is there anything? No. If there was something in there, I've already grabbed it. This is not going to take... This is not going to take long. Man. Oh, fucking super mutants. Oh. What the ah! I... <laughs> Not taking any chances with that shit. What? Ah! Thank you, dog meat. Perfect to grab. Take my mini nuke. That was a critical. Uh, that was a critical. Sh critical shot. Well placed. Fucking super mutant suiciders. Oh man, those things are so lame. Do have to clear this place out or uh I think her name was Kay at um Bunker Hill. The merchant. We gotta do this anyway. I mean we could kill her and just make money. Did I already clear this place? Some very bad people may be coming. It's not safe here. Yeah, I might be one of those bad people. <clears throat> I don't know you. Just, just go away. D please, don't come any closer. Can I not warn her? I feel like I should have been able to warn her. I will take this typewriter. Well, I'm not. Gotcha. Okay. The reason why it's optional is I only have a certain amount of time to kill her, and then she leaves. Gotcha. Okay. So it doesn't stay there forever. Okay. Let me just make sure. Yeah, clear the training yard. Oh. 
don't want to worry about that. There's a flight helmet. If she's still here, I could take a knight uniform if I really needed it, but I don't need a knight uniform. Am I crazy? I mean, I might be, but not for this reason. I feel like I have to take out the glowing one. At least I should. I think that's how this works. Yeah, there's nothing else here. We killed everything. There's nothing else, quite literally nothing else here of interest. Unless it's going to make me destroy that sentry bot again. Hello there. And greetings, Rob. How are you, my friend? Oh, God. I have to destroy that again. Okay. That answers that question. Fine. Let's do this. Oof. There it is. Oh, holy shit. Fine. Okay. They're making me go over to the front. Is there like one ghoul missing? Oh my god, there's like one ghoul fucking missing. And that's what they made me come in here for? Seriously? Okay, well, Deb. That was her name, Deb. Alright, well, we accomplished that. Let's go kill Northy. Blammo! How's your weekend uh, going so far, Rob? So far it hasn't rained here, but it keeps looking like it threatened, like it's threatening to. But I haven't actually seen any uh, rain yet, which is interesting. Okay, now let's drop all that in there. Tarberry. Yep, put all that in there. Army fatigues. Yep, that looks good. I need to do something with that shish kebab at some point. All right, cool. Now let's kill Northy. Ah, uh, it's starting. All right, so I'm probably going to get some rain pretty soon. Right, I'm going the right way, right? Yep. I am indeed going the correct way. See, you missed, uh, you missed Cleo unleashing chaos earlier. <laughs> she wanted second dinner, apparently. apparently her way of asking for even more food was to uh, try to play with my mouse cable. I guess she figured if she was distracting enough that I would realize, all right, there's, there's so yeah, she's a cat hobbit. Yeah, she really is. <laughs> oh my goodness. That cat, man. She is awesome though. She is totally awesome. Yeah, I couldn't figure it out because I was giving her a pet and she would still like act up and like tried to give her a toy that she was like still acting up and I'm like yeah she's, she's looking for something I'm just surprised she wanted food again but that's eh, alright oh right may as well uh, you know what we'll we'll cash it we'll, we'll we'll trade that in in a minute I don't need I don't need to report back to Deb right now let's just keep going this way. I'm a little, a little worried that she continues to um, try to mess with electrical cables. Like she was suddenly found herself fascinated with the. Oh shit! Being raiders. 
Headshot. Oh, got another one over here. Should be these assholes. Okay. Sorry, where was I? Uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> but I ended up just moving something in the way so that she just couldn't get into it again. And that was sort of my solution to that. Well, she can't get into that trouble with that if she can't even reach it. But I won't have that much... I won't have any such luck because I don't know how to... There's no real way to segment out the cables behind my computer monitor. And unless I get a wireless mouse, it's just always going to be able to hop up here and try to play with the cable of the mouse. No, I'm not. There you are, you little bitch. Who is that? It's a rad stag. I don't think... I don't think I'm going to have to kill those deer. Oh, let's see. Leave me alone. Weird mutant deer. Thank you. <laughs> I already have Radstag uh, steaks, so I don't need any more of those. Yeah, unfortunately, there's no way to talk to this guy. Oh, I missed that one. Got him. Don't think he's going to let me talk to him. Think he's just because he's running scared. <laughs> oh man, I just realized I had a video clip I intended to use as a channel reward alert sitting on my hard drive for almost two years. Ah, oh, that oversight has now been rectified. Yeah, she was right. Oh, look at that. We got a legendary raider somewhere around here. Alright, so we gotta find Kent. Let's pick this lock first. Let's also deal with that legendary raider and get some legendary loot. Oh yeah, nor yeah. You know, I wish I had thought of that. I could have, uh, could have just recorded that. Oh no! Why? 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 Yeah, that would have been an amazing sound alert. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, if only I'd thought of it. All right, what did you have? Metal, oh, all right. Nothing all that special. Definitely take the flip lighter. But yeah, let's read the silver shroud now. Okay, it's not that. Still have two. Sh oh, right. I still have to put the silver shot clawing card on him. Oh shit! I still have two. Means I missed somebody. Fuck. Oh, uh, I probably forgot to put it on Kendra. Shit. Kendra and Delancey are six feet under. The silver shroud claimed the hits. Northy, Sinjin wants you to keep up the recruiting efforts. 
We need more warm bodies after we deal with the costume. And don't worry. Kate's gathering a bunch of meatheads to take the shroud out. The boss ain't happy. Now's not a time for failure. He's getting personally involved. He's gonna pay the Shroud's flunky friend a special visit in Good Neighbor. After he's done with that, he'll check in. He'll expect results. Not good. Let's head back and deal with, uh... Hopefully get back in time to rescue Kent. Fucking awesome. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I might have had a little too much fun doing that. Come on, dog. Get out of the way. Get out of the way, boy. Thank you. And yeah, we're not going back to that. Even though I think the super mutants are still clear of it, but still. Why mess around? Brotherhood. On your way, soldier. Okay, good. Place is still clear. By the time we finish all this, Curia will be ready. That'll be the cool part. Thankful I was able to grab the audio from the clip feature sent. Oh, nice! Oh, excellent. <laughs> oh, it's fucking great. Don't worry. I only test the weapons on customers I don't like. Feel free to browse. Sure. Let's take a look. Murder and mayhem at a discount. I've been using a bunch of these. Uh, yep, let's get rid of all that. Shotgun shells. Don't need shotgun shells. I never use that. Yep, perfect. Thank you. Give me ammo of the type I actually want. Shroud, it's a trap. Save yourself. Ah, ah, oh my god. Do it, Shroud. Do it. Oh, my knee. Ah. Tick tock, Shroud. Don't keep me waiting. We got business that needs finishing. Here's a silver Shroud update. Yeah, we'll still we'll still go in here and we'll talk to Irma real fast. See if she can tell us any other details. Oh, it's you. Oh, sugar. I told Kent all that hero stuff was going to get you both killed. Oh, God. Oh, God. What happened to Kent? Where is he? They... They took him. Raiders. Nothing but bloodlust in their eyes. We... We couldn't stop them. When they took him away, they left you a message. Just listen to Kent's radio station. It keeps playing it over and over again.
Oh yeah, probably should have talked to her first because that's yeah, you know, but it's all right. It'll sort itself out. So now let's go back in here. Let's go back into our normal outfits. There we go. Actually, I have some decent defense here. And now let's go kill Sinjin. And theoretically, what I could do. Oh, no, I can't because we haven't done that quest yet. <laughs> but if we'd done the quests in a slightly different order, there's sort of a shortcut from Good Neighbor to the south of Boston. Actually, Freak Bottle should be starting pretty soon. What I'm probably going to do is we're going to go through this. We're going to kill Sinjin. And at that point, I'm going to be pretty hungry. And I'll probably just raid out to Freakbot. I think that'll be my plan. Yeah, I'm definitely hungry. I just have to figure out what food I actually want. Fortunately, I have some time to think about it. Oh, there's the combat zone. We've been through here a couple of times. Yeah, I'd really rather not go through that area of the ruins. That tends to suck a lot. This is a good place to get through. There's nobody up there. Oh my goodness, Seraph. No reason I should have missed that shot. That was terrible. I know. I know there's a raider up there. Sorry. Oh, wow. Okay, we'll take that. Better believe we're taking that shit. Uh, no. Nope. 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 Want no part of that. Go this way. Good. Of course, I have to be careful going this way. I have to make sure I don't get spotted by the super mutants. being absolutely certain I don't get spotted by those super mutants because those guys will fuck me up. Fact. Find me again. Microjet Stealth Boys 8. Yep, that's what I thought. We're just going to stealth boy past this point. I really don't want to get into uh, any kind of fight with these assholes. And you might hear something, but you don't see anything. Yeah, that place is crazy. Ah, welcome back, freak butt. Good. Okay. Yeah, that place gets uh that place gets nuts. Oh, got a fucking Take care of that. Fuck you, Lieutenant Gutsy. <laughs> Now, the last time we were here, all the super mutants were fighting themselves. Hopefully, they're all still dead. My guess is that this is going to still be a shithole. There's Milton and Hot General Hospital. That's where we actually want to go. Yeah, that's heavy shit. Yep, here it is. Motherfucker. Ugh. Great. 
Nobody heard that, so good. What? Who's there? That's probably not me. You probably heard somebody else. Well, yep, somebody else. I wonder who they're getting into a fight with. Oh, robots. I mean, it's Boston. Shithole comes with the territory, right? It really... Like, Boston actually is a great place to visit, but... It's still fucking funny. <laughs> Shit, shit. That car is going to explode in a second. Damn it. Thank you, fucker. hate these bastards, man. <laughs> like crap. Oh, they got you, didn't... Oh, okay, you, you recovered. <sighs> well, let's go over here and get that nuclear material. Let's see what else it blew up. Yeah, we'll take acid. It was over here. Yep. That suicider didn't even die. Cool. Because there are so many suiciders. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Let's take a look here. Food. Meyerler queen steak. Fuck yeah. This, this is going to be interesting. Oh, the rain just started. <laughs> Somebody got fat manned. Edie, no. <laughs> I really wish I could repurpose some of those uh, iBots. Now you can build iBots in this game, but all they'll do is lead you to rare loot. On oh, rain just ended by you. <laughs> Balance, just as all things should be, right? And some of the lighting in this game is amazing. Right, I don't need any overdue books anymore. Think there's anything over here? What the fucking hide from me? You're dead. Wow, really? I'm surprised. Well, that'll teach me to be just running through here all roughshod. I was really thinking there wasn't anything here, and I was just gonna be thorough. You don't even know where I'm at. That little bitch go? We're on a completely different floor. <laughs> right? Sure, Thanos. I'll find you. You're gonna fucking pay for that. No, I won't. Heard about Walter? Him and his oh. you? There you are. You. Let's just take a look and make sure there's nothing valuable over here. Yeah, there's some buff. Ugh, I didn't want to take that. I'm sure I'll take the buff out. Really didn't want to take that mop. Come on out. I'll make it nice and quick. You can trust me. Sure. So we're going down. Let's see what's in here. Yay, XP! Come on. Ooh, I went too far. A little bit more. 
Got it that time. Got it. There's a safe. And I was right. Got it that time. Sweet. Sweet. Alright, dog meat. Let's resume. Oh, this fucking room. Wow, how did you guys die? I am not sure how those guys died. That was very odd. Here. Nope. Nothing all that valuable. Ah, the. Okay, so the extinguisher exploded. Just don't know why they even shot it. Really? How did you even hit me? Don't you die on me! Bastard. Man. It took like four different headshots. do that. That's fine. And the fucker set me on fire. Super lame. And now we go back upstairs. Dude probably had a metal plate in his skull. Yeah, the, I yeah, must have been the turret. Had to have been the turret. Right? I, 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 I don't see anything else that could have been responsible. That was like really bizarre, right? Okay. I'm not going to grab that spine, but now we go in here. Sure, let's pick this. Nice. Yeah, I could always use a bobby pin. Oh, fuck. Ready then. Nothing here other than a jangles the moon monkey. Good. Yep, we're good. Nope, dog meat, get out of the way. Yeah, we'll pick this lock. that. Now I've got two syringers. <laughs> hey. Yeah, you can take that. Take the two syringer rifles. Pulse grenade. You can take two bottle cap mines too. I don't need all of those. This is the way out. So if you drop down there, it's <laughs> you have to circle the way around all the way back. Oh, 
All right. Save. Let's see if I can do this and save. Ah, uh, well, thank you. I'll see you later, man. Say it again. Hold, assholes. Anyone turns heel, I'm coming for you and your family. And you, Shroud. You step any closer, and we get to see what's inside Ken's head. Fuck. Right. I forgot. I forgot to put my silver shroud armor back on. <laughs> That's important. I'm like, wait, why is the dialogue I want not there? Anyone turns heel, I'm coming for you and your family. And you, Shroud. You step any closer, and we get to see what's inside Ken's head. You shield yourself behind an innocent. You are Craven, Sinjin. And you shall fall before me. Don't talk to me like that. Some of these losers think you're some sort of legend. Like you walk straight out of a comic book. But you and I know you're human and you're weak. You came here and for what? You little sidekick? I have cut a path through all your thugs. Who can truly say I'm not the Shroud? Don't listen, man. She's a phony. So what's gonna happen is this. I'm going to kill Ken. Then we're gonna shoot the hell out of you. Nothing's gonna be left but paste. Then, I'm going to Good Neighbor and kill every last worthless bastard there and burn the whole thing down. No one screws with Sinjin. I am the instrument of justice and I cannot fall. Death has come for you, evildoer. And I am its shroud! Stop talking like that! It is the Shroud, it really is! Screw this! Coach! <laughs> okay. Not too shabby. Kent. I've never been so happy to see anyone in my entire life. I'm glad I got here in time. You and me both, Shroud. But I don't know. I just give up. On all of it. Crime fighting just isn't what I thought it'd be. If you just quit, then the bad guys have already won. You... You're right. But I'm tired. I just want to go home. I'm going back to Good Neighbor. Really, thanks for saving me. But I'm just done. Alright, and then we just meet up with uh, Hancock here as the Shroud. And that will end the Silver Shroud quest. We could still kill these guys, but honestly, they stopped fighting. Anybody who willingly stopped fighting, I'm not going to fuck with. I don't know where that was. Oh well, fuck it. Don't need welding goggles. Let's just make sure there's nothing extremely valuable over here, and then we'll get the hell out of here. And I got a billion blood packs. My God. Yeah, what the hell? Damn! Come on. Come on, lock. There we go. Sweet. Oh, I got plenty of frag grenades. I'm sure, I'll take oil. Get the hell out of here. And this is why this is here. Just hop down. Literally just leave. <laughs> nice and easy. And then I'm probably just going to fast travel back to Good Neighbor. We'll get that wrapped up. And I guess the only question in my own head is, should I wait until next stream to then um, 
get Curie. I guess it depends on how hungry I am. <laughs> I am pretty hungry, though. Man, it's beautiful outside right now. It's not actually raining. At the moment. So it also makes me wonder eh, if I'm going to run out and grab something really fast. Maybe I should just do that. Hancock. He runs things here in Goodman. Do 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 do. Good man job. Fair. We're lucky the mayor there likes we are. Any cool measure. Ugh, I don't like surprise. And so, one of the reasons why we do this in this order, so so very, very, very minor spoiler. Um, Hancock is one of the potential companions in this game. But if you have Hancock as a companion, this part ends up being so glitched, like, to hell and back. So it's just easier to do this quest earlier, just to avoid that headache. But I'm a lover, and a the deed is done. The dreaded Sinjin breathes no more. All by your lonesome, you took down the big bad Sinjin. Hmm. I just need time to recover. Hope of you know, one more day. Take this for the effort. You played your part in serving justice to those most deserving of it. I'm gonna miss these little conversations. Ah, Ken, my man. Why the long face? You got what you wanted. I was t tortured. Almost died. It's not like the radio plays at all. Hey, who hasn't been tortured from time to time? The price of throwing down with the man is always a few scars. Pick yourself up. Good neighbor's just a bit safer thanks to the two of you. What would the Shroud be without his faithful friend? Rhett Reinhardt. This... This means a lot to me. Thanks, guys. You ever try chess? Sometimes you need to sacrifice a piece to keep the game going. Keep that in mind. Perfect. And at this point, now I can actually give. Because otherwise, it won't even let you take off any of those critical things. Hey. So let's now give dog meat the uh, silver shroud armor, silver shroud hat. There we go. Although I do want to talk to him. Hey there. I've been thinking about what you and Hancock said. I've decided I can't give up, but I'm no fighter. Maybe at least I can keep tinkering though, to try to make your shroud costume even better. What sort of upgrades are we talking about? The armor plating is good. But it could be better. And maybe I can make a few other improvements. Then let's do this. Oh, sorry. I can't do nothing now. I'll fire up my radio when I have something for you. It takes like a week of in-game time. I was good neighbor treating you, Dutch. <laughs> so yeah, we'll set up uh oops, actually it's time I did want to go the other way. Not that it's that big a deal, because Good Neighbor is pretty hey, small. You heard of University Point? No? It's surprising. The Institute wiped the place off the map. And I, and I wiped them off the map. All right, so we'll save. This is a good place to stop. Because Seraph's stomach is starting to take over here. So let's, yeah, let's fire up a raid. Let's get this, uh... All set up here. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We get ready to uh, close down here for the night. But I'll be back tomorrow night for to play East Memories of Celsetta. I think we're actually closing in on the later stages of the game, which is going to be really cool. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to finish the game tomorrow, but I, I'm starting to see that uh, we're, we're getting there. And so that'll be my plan for tomorrow. And... perfect and so i hope everybody had is is having a great weekend so far um may you all have a great rest of your weekend and if i don't see you tomorrow have a great week and other than that i think that's 
pretty much the big updates. In the meantime, I will see you all approximately later. Everyone, have a great one. I'll see you over in Freakbot's channel. Until next time, ciao!